First of all, I have to do a thing. The orphans, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's, there's, there's one left, maybe. <laughs> Somewhere, yeah. God, yeah. I hope they're dead. I hope they're dead, too. Jesus. Yeah. It would make things easier That's for us. That's the spirit. It would make That's... things so much easier. It would just be really yeah. inconvenient if they were alive at this point. Like... Yeah, uh -huh. same with Granny, you know? Uh -huh. Digitize uh -huh. that motherfucker. Uh -huh. well, <laughs> well now now Grant a Digimon. <laughs> now Granny's lost to, to time, so yeah, absolutely. Well we'll see about that. Uh... Digi Grand Digital Grandster. <laughs> Grandster. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, like Granny got Grand... done so dirty, huh? Yeah. Yeah, she, she was, was really nice too, like yeah, out of character. She was. she was great. In character. Fuck Granny though. I hate Granny. <laughs> Fuck her, dude. She drug Cheezle. Yeah, but she was trying to help Jesus. to be fair. He has a lot of issues. A, in a lot of ways, I am like Granny, actually, in real life. Just trying to help people, but accidentally like poisoning them. like those celebrities that <laughs> smoke the You trying to fucking reposture yourself to make it sound like you did a good thing that day. You're, you're, a, you're, a, you're a monster. <laughs> this fucking story. All, All right. right. I, I, had, I was doing... I'm sorry. I was Have doing... you heard about the celebrities that smoke the toad venom? It's kind of like this site. Yeah. What the they hell are you talking about? <laughs> we can't <laughs> hear the toad venom. hear about this? The toad venom. Brought up being drugged to go on like a... Did you a, read this on Facebook? Is that where you got this? We covered this on the podcast like a year ago. <laughs> oh my God. It's stuck with you. Celebrity. <laughs> Which celebrity? Dude, a bunch of them. Are you kidding me? There's that. <laughs> the, Our... the HGTV flipper flop, the wife that divorced the guy. Like, she's oh, what? Dude, she smoked toad venom. Jeez. What? The celebrities are available. She Holy smoked shit. toad venom to go on a psychiatric thing, but it lasts like 15 minutes instead of eight a hours. Psychiatric? You mean psychedelic? Sure, it doesn't matter. I'm in the heat of the moment. <laughs> it matters. Oh, I'm telling uh, you, just Google toad venom, smoke toad venom, and you're gonna find it. Arch ma go. Arch Magister, Arch Magister uh, Kronos hands a vial Does over to Skagzag. Oh yeah, there it is. She did. Look at that. It's all over. <laughs> toad venom. Oh wait, it's, yeah. Give, she give she, lo she looks venom. over at yeah, Skagzag and says, "You're going to want to smoke this." <laughs> Fuck's sake! It's venom. You, uh, what do you will. <laughs> what is this? It's better be toad venom. <laughs> it's his favorite. It'll take you on a psychedelic trip or psychiatric. psychiatric. I, I really haven't decided to watch yet. All right, all right. So um, I, I did my rolls. Uh, I checked on a thing. Um, you guys ready to begin? Yeah. 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 Sure. E excellent. Let's get start. You know, I really wish I had the chance to. Is Starbucks still open? Hold on. I oh, would, uh... the apple crisp macchiato is so it's like fucking time, good. Is it? Just is so it, you know. Is it really good? I've been. It tastes like apple pie. It's so good. Holy shit! There is a toad venom addiction center. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it, is, it seems like it spread through this community like wildfire, man. The celebrity the, the celebrity community. community? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ah, <laughs> oh, no, never mind. It's it's closed. It's closed. I've been uh, I've been hooked on uh, uh, pink drinks. That's been that's been my jam. Oh, pink, pink drinks are good. Drink. Too. Pink, pink pink drinks pink. are good. Pink. Oh. Yeah. So you're drinking yeah. paint. I got yeah. you. <laughs> I got you. What's happening over there? <laughs> Woo! Pink drink, poop venom over here. I tell you yeah. what, here over in Flory Day, <laughs> we have oh some paint God. drink, some toad venom. <laughs> All right. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, last we left off. Not uh, of that. <laughs> uh, last we left off. Um, <laughs> it's been quite some time that you've been looking to speak with the Arch Magister uh, of the Kingdom of Brisbane. And the hopes to receive magical arms and armaments, magical abilities, as a suitable reward for your honorable uh, deeds uh, with the fight against the uh, crashing, uh, the, the falling space baby from the sky as you faced off against one of the many Lagoses out there in the multiverse. Finally, uh, after quite some time and a little bit of, you know, some, some side adventures here and there, here you are within the magnificent mansion conjured by the Arch Magister. Mikkel, um, specifically, uh, yes. <laughs> seems to have some sort of affiliation with her, although it is unknown at this time uh, to the goblins and Mikkel herself what it is. Mikkel gets yes. some bad vibes. Some hashtag bad vibes. Hashtag, hashtag 
Hashtag BBs. Bad, bad vibes. Mm -hmm. Not the other BB. Not, not. <laughs> oh my no. god. No. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what that <laughs> is. I and that I, now I now I don't know what that. Now I don't think I want to know what that means. Uh, hashtag bad vibes. Uh, as you've been receiving, um, strange just flashes of this individual and a feeling of 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 uncomfort around this person. Nevertheless, right. you yes. To clarify, there is a big fucking spool of string running across the desk. Yes, oh, yes. The door, thank right? you, thank you. Yeah, across, like does she is she acknowledged let, it? She looked at it. Let me get to that. It's not subtle. I mean, it, well, well, let me uh, let me do the you recap do here intro. real quick. Yeah, exactly. But that's good. I like where your head's at. Um, mm -hmm. After after some time, uh, she takes you to the magnificent mansion, uh, where she teaches all of you to create uh, spells. Uh, spells for your for those for individuals that don't cast spells, uh, you were able to learn some wep weapon skills, <clears throat> and for those that have the ability to cast spells, you all were able to create um, some magical magical cantrips for yourselves. Please continue to analyze and dig, wanting to learn more of your magical composition. I suppose the best way to say it. As she continues to mm. pry and mention that you have some sort of magical abilities that she wishes to study, after continuing to push the uh, the topic a few too many times. Clarence finally spoke up, mentioning to just drop it, and that it made it was making Piquel especially uncomfortable, in which case she then apologized and said she wouldn't bring up the topic again. And just before we ended the session, um, she was talking about granting people uh, magical items that they were currently looking for. Uh, before you guys enter the Magnificent Mansion, of course, yes, important to note that crafty model has taken a ball of string, or like a like a spool of string, a ball of yarn, something of that. And as you teleported, uh, you, did you tie it to something or did you just leave it right I there? I tied it to a fence post. You tied it to a fence post. And it was uh, a spool of string, yeah. Yeah, and you, you've you come in this, this spool of string now over there. Um, as far as does she notice or not, um, I would say you've probably noticed her take a couple of glances at the string. He seems to pay it no mind. Okay. I'm just also curious about the collision physics here, Brett, because I'm like three foot tall mm -hmm. and that's connected to me and I've gone like around the table. Was there stuff on the table? Well, so I, I wasn't entirely certain of how you were handling the string. I kind of assumed you were just like going there and it realized you were going in a, a I mess. I kind of forgot about the string too, which means Mottle kind of forgot about the string, which oh. means the string went straight through right, the table. Right, 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 right. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I would, it depends on how you walked. Give me, yeah, uh, around that side. Yeah, 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 side. yeah. Here you go. Give me, give me, give me some arrows. Give me some arrows here. Let's, let's, let's. Uh... Oh, I just walked straight up and uh -huh, I went around uh -huh, here uh -huh, and uh -huh. sat down right next uh -huh. to there. There. Uh huh. Okay. Well, then that's where the string. Okay. I'm assuming you've been like unspooling it this entire time. Is that correct? That would be wise. Yeah. You know yeah, what? You're yeah. right. That's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, that's it's what loose. I. That, that's yeah. That's kind of what I assumed you. Were. But it wasn't just a thank tight you. piece. Yeah, I like, didn't think of that, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, I thought I assumed it was like a 300 foot like thing. The string is like clipping through the walls. The game wasn't meant for you to do. You have a string in here, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like this is a no game, bro. It's it's like half. Real. It's like Half Life Two, where like you just kind of see the cans like clipping against the 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 table, and it's like ding 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 ding, and something like loud yeah. noises. You know, it's how yeah. you get through walls, man. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you just have a a a. a a thin piece of string that I would imagine not be very obvious since it's not a piece of yarn. It's just a full, no. full of string that you can. Oh, um, sweet. Okay, thank you. But, but as mentioned, you're welcome. Uh, as mentioned, uh, she would take note. And, uh, but she doesn't say anything. She doesn't have any weird observation. She just continues on her way. You're uncertain what she'd be thinking. Um, but it'd probably be safe to assume with the humans that you've been interacting with. People just kind of toss it up to goblin behavior. Because no one's really interacted uh, with goblins before <laughs> here in the Ishtar region. It's just like, wow. goblins are strange. They do weird sh shit. And, goblins uh, coast on the ignorance of man, honestly. Yes, 100%. <laughs> goblins uh, goblins to human humanoids are just other humanoids to the more quote unquote civilized humanoids are uh, are just kind of looked as just like, strange like kill creatures that just they oh, go fuck, they okay. yell they stab oh yeah i mean it's you're, you're thought very low of honestly 
And that's why people are so impressed and surprised by you. Wow. You did what? That's amazing. This is our first interaction this with This is goblins. infantilizing. I hate this. Yeah. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's welcome yeah. to welcome to We to, killed a god fucker. <laughs> <laughs> welcome welcome to being a goblin, unfortunately. Um you're you're dealing with hundreds of years of different views that people have have, have dealt with when it comes to the goblins. They don't. They just don't get it, yeah. And that's and honestly, that's just that's always been the tragedy of goblins. I was it was really weird. Like I was watching through some of the videos today just to kind of like recap on where you guys left off. Um, and I, I, I was jumping around and I jumped to one clip where you were talking with Tremor and Tremor was just demeaning all of you. And it's just like, look, we don't, we don't need you. You don't need to be here, but whatever. And it's just like people, people take goblins for granted because of their- yeah, He's gonna... dead though, right? Uh, yes, Tremor is just, yes, Oh, that's a shame. Oh, man. Shucks, <laughs> 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 dude. Shucks, yeah. dude. Yeah. Oh, my fucking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what a shame. Yeah. Oh, no. It's like oh. the world kind of goes on, you know oh. what I mean? But... <laughs> the world of Io goes on, yeah. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, okay. All right, anyways, we're going to. Not you, Brett. Him. No, no, no. I know. <laughs> Jesus. We did plan on killing them anyway, so I Jesus mean. Jesus Christ. If it wasn't going to be us, it was going to be something. Like my we had at least yeah. three conversations in chat. Like, is this when we kill them? Is this when yeah, we yeah, kill yeah. You right were my... motivating almost all of that. Though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that. Yeah. oh, oh my God. God. My, face yeah. is, my face is flushed red. Jesus Christ. Did anyone Christ. else? Did we lose anyone else? Uh... No. Oh, damn. Oh, That's yeah. awful. Misdemeanor, misdemeanor lost one of their crew members. Um, Wait, an NPC? In a, yeah, yes, an NPC. Um, but... Dude, imagine being the <laughs> only totally other surprised. person that goes down with you as an NPC. Yeah, uh, and Granny. <laughs> That's dude. their fucking company. <laughs> it's, it's Bink, it's Stink, it's Granny, and Trema all together. Yeah, people don't know loss like we do, okay? Oh, we've <laughs> lost so many. We've lost you... so many important people that we cared about and shed so many tears over. Like You have. You have. Yeah. You lost. Uh, have tears to shed. Yeah, when you. Oh, no tears left to cry. When you, when you, you guys lost Dungo, and that was a very, that was a very oh, sad right. moment. I forgot. Oh, my <laughs> Oh yeah, Dungo. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. It wasn't my pet, alright? Pet? <laughs> Are you? No pet, you monster. <laughs> I'm looking at. I'm, oh, man, I'm, I'm. I'm looking at Benji in a Benji whole new turns light. turns out to be a fucking sociopath. Uh, <laughs> 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 my God, Benji. Oh, yeah. Uh, Pekel did lose her pickle jar. That That's was truly that devastating. Was yeah. I almost <laughs> cried IRL, no lie. <laughs> No, truly you traumatizing. Lost a dog too, in the, in the <laughs> same place as the other one. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. that was fucked. So um, I don't know how he got in this. Oh yeah, that's right. But yeah, so um, oh yeah, just how people view goblins. Um, so yeah, there you are. Um, she, you've learned how to craft some spells, and now we're going to talk about magical arms and armaments, uh, other trinkets and baubles, uh, to help you on your way for whatever you decide to do in the go in the in the gobby lands of the uh the Ishtar Highlands of the South. So, uh, we were going to give a beautiful golden crown. Uh, the crown of the Intellect Fortress, basically, to, um, <coughs> to Chisel. Chisel, while, right. you wear, while you wear this crown, you will have advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. You will also be resistant to psychic damage. Um... Yeah, that's it. As you wear, as you don the crown, um, its magical energies are meant to protect you um, from more harmful psychic uh, assaults on your brain. Mind. Yeah, great. Chisel looks at Clarent and is like, "I have crown on my head too." Uh, yeah. Clarent does not notice the mushroom on his head. He doesn't know <laughs> what Chisel's talking about right now. <laughs> he still thinks his crown is like a mushroom. <laughs> right, let me. Oh, bu -bu. oh, we're gonna call this crown intellect. Rarity wise, man, we're, we're starting to get pretty, uh, pretty powerful here. I would say very. Please, please. <laughs> yes. Um. Type this out. You 
gain resistance. Do psychic damage as well as advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throw. That is so good for a barbarian. When attuned. God damn. This will require attunement. We only attune mm -hmm. three items. Um, but I don't believe there's any items that are attuned on cheese and if there are I don't think you have all three. <clears throat> no. I we're gonna do a do The armor this. set is attunement, right, Brett? The the one I gave to Skagzag, or is that just nope. armor? That's just armor. Okay. Okay. Um, I think the only one that is maxed on attunement is Clurnt. Yeah, but that fucking rat it's, whistle can be that, hucked in the garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that, that's that's also that. that's also what I figured as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, thing, that thing's not scaled very well with our power, evidently. Yeah, well, you did Just find it when someone. you were like a level three goblin, so. And then seconds later, got teleported to a place with no rats for another fifteen seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Uh, ba -ba 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 -da, cheese, oh my. My fine Shizu. Uh, oh yeah, that's not. Uh, Steven, Axe of the Fungazoid is what your weapon is called. Steven, Axe of the Fungazoid. Uh, you have a cloak of protection, which has been attuned to you. So uh, powerful. Raising your armor class to 20, my friend. That's <gasps> crazy. And crown of the, uh, the intellect fortress. I'm going to add that to your equipment. We are going to attune it, and that will be your second item attuned to you. Crown of the Intellect Fortress, which, as mentioned in the description, you gain resistance to psychic damage, as well as advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and my the character sheet crashed. You've D and D Beyond said no. A This is too powerful. Uh, I am a tough goblin. Yeah, that was that was that was. Uh, I'm so tough. That was weird. And now you're. My roar. And now your uh, cr and now your character sheet isn't loading at all. You've uh, you've killed it. My God, you've killed it. Let me see if model you loads. Maniac. You blew it up. Uh, Cheezel, I'm up. Oh, there you go. Yeah, very good and <laughs> very. Oh, that's right. Okay, very good. You're good and very good and very good. So adored your on top of your head is a crown uh, made of not completely made of gold. So it's not malleable. You can't just like mush it around, but it's uh, gold plated. So uh, almost like a- What kind of crown are we looking at? Like how many how many pointy bits does it have? Five. You got a big pointy bit on the center and then it does that, that curve into two separate pointy bits. And then it does another lower curve to two lower pointy bits. And in the center of the crown is a ruby that has been imprinted in there. The ruby itself kind of has a, a light shimmer, uh, possibly where it, the magics are stored. Granting this crown its uh, intellect protection towards you. Great. Looks, sounds like it looks beautiful. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, she will look over at Skag's egg. Ow. Tell me something about yourself, young Skagzag, was it? Why? Well, so I can understand more of what you're looking for. Why should I do that? He looks around, a, a little confused to the rest of the party, and then looking at you. I was under the understanding that all of you wanted some sort of magical trinket as a reward. You? Yeah. So what what are things that 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 you like that that you best um, fight with? Are tell we me, uh, are we still me, pretending? Tell me about that... your skill set. This whole thing's pretend. Are we this still pretend? All right, so I'm still like pretending I'm the warrior in that. Uh, oh, I don't know. That was sort of your I thing. Mean, yeah, you get uh... to decide if you want to actually just you know veer from that so you get something you want. But mm. that was mostly so she couldn't just fuck us up. Uh, I see. I wanna... we're, we're past her wanting to scan us, so I think it's okay if we yeah. give All away right. our classes now. Just I want say, magic. as a barbarian, I want magic. <laughs> <laughs> I want wild magic. <laughs> Ma you want magic? W wild magic? Wild. You are attuned with the, the wild energy. You can still yeah. walk over to you. Don't touch me. 
<laughs> you see her uh, hands about to be placed upon your shoulders until the moment you say, don't touch me. She stops. My veins start to pulse. There's like a giant vein in my forehead bulging out. I see. I can sense it within you. The wild magic flow strongly. No shit, that's what I want it. <laughs> Powerful. Thanks, guys, I take it easy. <laughs> within you. <laughs> this is almost unstable to the the wild magic arcanists that are here. Of Some might say that's why it's wild, lady. All right, now, how much you got of it and can you do it? She gives an inquisitive look. I could. <laughs> She's quiet again. She has to think a moment. You. Oh. A, a little bit of history, my, my friend Skag said. Uh, this, would be uh. better, this would be beneficial to you. Wild mages of the Ishtar region, well, I have, have all of the kingdoms, uh, still work within a limit of control so as to not endanger themselves or others. You seem to, however, remove those protections from yourself, making your wild magic something incredibly unstable. I could fix this for you, if you wish. Or, what? Or, she blinks a little bit at this, and she thinks for a moment, and then shrugs, realizing that you're going to be in a region that wouldn't danger Ishtar. Or we can push it further. Yeah. Now, now you're talking. Now I'm I must warn you that this is incredibly, incredibly dangerous. I would Whatever. But are you absolutely sure? Yeah. Oh my god. She looks at all the goblins and then looks at Clert, who seems to be the one speaking for everybody. Uh... Hey, Brett, you mind saying that again? Sorry, I've been having like audio issues. Yeah, no worries. Uh, uh, wait, wait, what's session, the which is why I've been a little quiet. I've been oh, to no worries. What, what's hey, the last- Can you just repeat what, what was she asking? Uh, yeah, 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 so she essentially said, I, like, hey, you're a wild mage. Uh, wild mages normally are still kind of kept in check um, so that they don't endanger themselves or others, but you right. seem to have removed being kept in check and your magic is just going crazy. Right. And she's like, I could fix that so that you can still be in check. And then she kind of quietly is like, or we can push it further. In which case, in which case he's like, do it. And she's like, you do realize how dangerous that is. And he's like, do it. Fuck it. Whatever. Okay. 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 And now she's looking, <laughs> and now she's looking at Clarence for fucking like double confirmation here. Exactly. Stag Zag. Yeah. If I back you up on this. You gotta promise never to stand next to me ever again in a fight, you understand me? All right, yeah, I won't stand next to you. I want you anywhere near me, all right? Yeah, that's fine. Stand near anyone else who don't stand near anyway. me, all right? Carrying all those instruments makes you smell. I wanna be near that. <laughs> really? You're doing this, you whatever, just do it. It's fine. Clark just <laughs> waves his hand. <laughs> All, all right, then. I have to admit, uh, curiosity is getting the best of me. I would normally not do such a thing. I'm fascinated what you've already done. <sighs> all right, then. Uh, this way. And she will walk over, uh, beckoning Skagzag to follow. Hey, try not to die, jackass. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yeah. How can you be a wild mage if you control it? Does it make sense? I. If you have a death wish, I suppose, but. You always are gonna die, lady. So it's gonna kick back. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very well. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, model, Jesus, move over. Uh, move over here. It's gonna gesture to the she chair nods. farther she away nods. from Skag's She nods a little bit. <laughs> she nods a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to go what, this do? way around and, and bring my string all the way around the table. Uh, the string kind of tightens around the legs of the table as you <laughs> need to walk around. Uh, Pikel, 
And yes. uh, Cheezel, you feel something uh, tightening around you. What? It's thin. Uh, what? Oh. And it seems to be pushing into you a little bit, but not offering much resistance. Cheezer like swats it away. Can I swat it away? Uh, yeah. As you swat, as you swat it away, you feel something like tight, kind of like almost like it's trying to tie you a little bit. Uh, model, and this is where you feel resistance with your strength. Model's gonna look down the string towards the entrance to see if anything's come in. It like has a not. Spider. It has not. <laughs> oh, he's gonna scratch his head and not look behind him. All right. So, um, <laughs> sorry, I love that. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I can I push it? Like, is it yeah. wrapping around me? Can I like? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like it it's, it's kind of wrapping it's... around your back. Yeah, the moment you like pull it off, like you immediately with your strength kind of like snap the string. That's fine. Yeah, and then you don't feel it tight anymore. Um, Do I notice this? Yeah, Do I model. Notice? Or, yeah, so model, you feel that the um, you're kind of feeling something tight, something resisting it, and then the resistance goes away. <gasps> Probably the wind. <laughs> you can tie the string to the string. <laughs> he doesn't know it's broken. Fuck. It's oh, I have like... mending. I have mending. Just saying. But you know it's broken. No, no one knows this bro. Probably not. <laughs> the only, only one smart enough, I think, it. to even comprehend a string could break is Clarence, and I don't care about the string. <laughs> <laughs> Are you no. staying there, Jeezel? What now? Are you we moved away because we're afraid Skagzag's going to blow up. Jeezel doesn't quite understand what is happening. <laughs> so he's like, you know, he's playing with his crown. He's happy. Jeezel, <laughs> Jeezel, come over here now, Jeezel. Jesus steps right, over ahead. the snapped, the snapped rope. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna save us all. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna start to duck underneath the table a little bit. All right then, uh, young Skagzag, if you can enter the room, please. Uh, better not be a tread. Not. Again, I do have to warn you because of the wild magic. Uh, Putting yourself in a, in a terrible amount of danger. Yep, right. I know you said it already. Um, very well, then. I wanted to do my, my due diligence. Yeah. Uh, she will hold out a hand, creating a wall of force in the doorway. No. As you see, a uh, energy wall uh, will then grow, sealing the hall in. You still see her on the other side, which is kind of more uh, tinted uh, behind the wall. Placing her hands on the wall of force, she will press it forward, almost as if to create some sort of force-like gloves. <laughs> is this oh. like a, handling a bomb and disarming a bomb in practice? <laughs> uh, a, li a little bit, yeah. It, it does uh, feel <laughs> a lot like disarming a bomb. <laughs> All right, then. I am going to cast a ritual upon you that I believe will further destabilize your wild magic. All right. Creating an ultimate chaotic paradox within your arcane being. All right. You know, I'm starting to feel like this was a bad idea. What do you mean? To let him do this? I don't know. I... I... I guess you this might have always been how Skagzag wanted to go. Yeah, I mean, you can muzzle a dog, but you can't muzzle Skagzag. True, true. You have to let him be. All right. Uh, you make some secret rolls now. Only chat will know. Yeah, I mean, we'll be happy either way, um, Brett, so just have fun. Hey, thank you. <laughs> All right. So, let me see. <laughs> okay, interesting. Which means I get to roll two more. 
Oh. One moment, please. A six, <sighs> a 15, and a 14. Ah, yes, okay. Uh, so the teleport 20 foot as a bonus action for one minute is about to be replaced. But the number two, six, and 15, which has been completely open, uh, are going to now be replaced with wild magic effects. Thus Yo, making, fuck yeah. thus yes. making uh, <laughs> Skagzag even <laughs> more powerful. Uh, and those three wild uh, magic powerful. effects are, well, <laughs> uh, but so uh, four, so originally uh, three wild magic effects were about to go off. Because I rolled a one, that means four magic wild, wild magic effects are about yeah. to go off. So oh here we go. Uh, first, we're gonna see what's going to be put in the six slot. Bum, bum, bum. E. Come on. Just don't tell us. Just don't tell us. Just Come let on. him find out in the moment. I gotta oh. know. All right. <laughs> no. Skagzag. Yeah. Uh, you immediately feel ill as the wild magics begin to just wreck and, and and just ruin uh your your intestines your stomach your entire system oh. completely <laughs> seizing you up uh, oh, up, bud. you are poisoned for, oh, yeah. for, for for one hour oh. okay that isn't what the effect does um would you like to know what the effect actually does? yes All right a random creature within 60 feet of you becomes poisoned for 1d4 hours. Now, could that random creature also be an ally? Yes. That's why it's a random right. creature. <laughs> That'll be determined by the die. All right. Beautiful. So that is your six slot. Whenever you roll a six, that happens. All right. Toad Venom. Exactly. Uh, now, <laughs> your 15 slot... <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh Hey, remember that ability that was like you and all creatures within 30 feet of you gain vulnerability to piercing? Yeah. That is uh now on the table twice. Nice. That's really good. I do piercing damage. Uh you yeah, and it's all good until we run into an enemy that does piercing damage too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just keep, just stay away from Skagzag. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just say you are also included in the uh, if Look, you're within I, the thirty I feet. I made Skagzag yeah. agree to stay away from me. If you ever stay, if he ever comes near me again, I'm gonna fucking retaliate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was the deal. All right, now we're going to fill the uh, the two slot. Or no, I'm sorry, the fifteen slot, which replaces your. No, wait, hold on. Did I skip something? Nope, that was six fifteen. Okay, uh, the number two. If you ever roll a number two, let's see what happens. Hey, there you go. You become, uh, so, uh, Skagzag, you, uh, vanish. Oh. Uh, you become invisible for the next minute. Oh, nice. That's, awesome. oh. that's a good one. During that time, other creatures can't hear you. Oh, nice. shit. Oh, God. Oh, that's super invisible. Season, so that's really Wait, good. when you say creatures, you mean gobbies, too? Everyone. Yeah, anything. However, we have telekinesis. Does that count? Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that means you could do verbal spells and not be heard. Yeah. yeah that's yep. Cool. But the moment he casts a spell, the invisibility goes off. But can he can he get up to the point of casting it? Yep. Like the the invisibility ends up? if you oh, attack cool. or cast a spell. So the moment uh, the spell awesome. is cast, uh, yeah, that is your number two. And number finally, nine. we are now replacing your teleport twenty feet as a bonus action. With the All right. following. All right, it did what it needed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god, yes! Oh my god. This <laughs> is it! <laughs> All right. Oh. Skag, oh, skag so sag. <laughs> this skag sag. Yeah. A fog cloud is centered on yourself and created around <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? God. Beautiful. 
<laughs> Wonderful. Whenever Amazing. you roll a 14, a fog cloud appears around you. <laughs> I don't even got to waste a spell anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. What if you cause fog cloud and then it, it triggers double fog. this? <laughs> it's, double just fog. A, it's just a fog cloud. <laughs> Wait, is I, it centered on him tell? in place? It's centered it on himself. Him? It's centered on himself. He literally has a fog cloud created around himself Let as me, the yeah, spell. Yeah, does it follow him as he moves? How big's uh, the radius? Uh, no, I mean once I mean it's it's, uh, it's the level one fog cloud. The like, fog cloud okay. doesn't oh, does, okay. yeah the fog cloud doesn't follow him, but it's not They're a constant like, it's not a concentration fog cloud either. It's literally a fog cloud gets created. There's no concentration cool. because no one's no one cast the spell, which means for an hour oh, a fog shit. cloud just stays there. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! You can't even remove Beautiful. it. Yep. Huh. I mean you can remove it. You can still dispel it, but I mean like. Oh, you could dispel it, but Why can would you I? mentally just turn it off? He can't turn it off, no, because the fog yeah. cloud just, pfft, it just gets created right there. <laughs> We'd have to waste a dispel on it. Yep. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I, yeah. that's, that's so fucking exciting. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Perfect. Yep. And so with that, after some time, you just, you see um, from the wall of force, just a little bit, a little bit of fog, a familiar fog kind of creeps its way out dead yeah. no no he's he's still alive it wasn't as uh, it wasn't as bad as I I thought all right then then she uh drops the barrier uh, uh, uh. you're right skag I'm gonna projectile vomit all over <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he's not the good. Um, she Ugh. looks. She looks at the vomit upon her clothes, kind of like sidestepping out in surprise, and uh, she's like, "Yes, let it all out." The vomiting it doesn't help. Uh, no, it's 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 not going to. You're suffering a, a magical uh, poisoning. I'm afraid, my. Yes, uh, Couch. She, uh, hey, why you just yeah. lay down over there by the sofa? Yeah. Uh, uh, covered in vomit. Yeah. He lays yeah, there. I'm gonna lay in the tree. <laughs> yeah. Um, by, by, by the way, I just want to let you know what has been seen at this point. He is still invisible. Uh, so you just see vomit just oh. propel out of like nowhere. Vomit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. oh, wait, and we can't hear him. Nope. Yeah, we can't now, hear him. Now, does the either. tree make when he lays in the potted plant? Uh, does the tr that move? The tree, the tree makes a noise. Yes, yes, yes. yes it to does. be clear, do we see. Like floating vomit on top of his skin. Well, Skagzak is a naturally himself. sort of greasy being, so we might even see like his footprints. Yeah, like the outline, like an invisible oh, yeah. man outline. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I probably also <laughs> stepped in the vomit a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's he's man outline in his own vomit. <laughs> yeah. My God, yeah. that's terrifying. That's we could that weaponize that. Awful. <laughs> As a familiar fog creeps out of the room. Well, that's what he wanted. Yep, yep. Poor guy. I mean, poor her. I'm gonna point at the lady covered in vomit. Uh, she's automatic. Your, uh, she holds clothes. out her hand. No, no. Cast prestigation on herself as the vomit just is wiped away. Wow, what did you just do? Magic. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Or yeah. quietly fucking hide. He just, I've been able to do that this whole fucking time. I've never done shit like that. And it's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> oh, fuck. He'll sit back down. Right. All right. Um, he's still alive, but is probably going to be ill for quite some time when he finally decides to appear. Yes. All right, then. Uh, you. He points over at model. Hello. What? What are you interested in? Uh, lots of things. Uh, shiny stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, stuff that makes people bleed really good. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. An Do intellectual you... like myself likes books and learning. Books and learning. Do you? Are you looking for daggers? Or no, I've you... got two daggers. Pull out bread and butter. Something a bit more mysterious then. Yeah, it surprised me. I already kill stuff plenty good already. So you like surprises, he says with a smile. Yeah. 
Very well, then. Um, and she will walk over here. Uh, to Moto has up. his hands over his eyes. <laughs> He's kicking his legs like a child. Oh my god. This would actually earn you quite a bit of gold. Oh, to another one. I must admit, it has always piqued my curiosity. I never like to leave fate. Or to chance. Not, I don't never like to leave things to chance. So maybe... But you literally just made it so Skanzad can leave things to chance more. Well, that's... You empowered his wild magic. That's his fate. That has nothing to do with me. Just oh. As, just as this also has nothing to do. You'll place, right. three, you'll place three cards face down. Oh my table. god. Oh my god. I step up onto the table <laughs> after taking my hands off my eyes and I walk over to her. Cool. What do I do? You may take one of these cards. Magical seal upon the card will remain in effect until you decide to unseal it. I must oh, warn fuck. you, though, if you attempt to unseal the card here, it will immediately extinguish the magic. Not go off, rendering the card mm. completely useless. Right. Okay. But I will say that if you decide to not unseal the card, I'm pretty sure, like as I mentioned before, a, a mage in a curiosity shop would more than likely pay you a small fortune for it. If gold is what you desire for reward. So mages like it when they're in mint condition, right? Exactly. <laughs> oh. Bloody nerds. All right, I'm going to reach forward to the right hand one, okay. but I want to look at her. I'm not going to touch it. I want to look at her <laughs> face and insight check to see how she reacts. Okay. To see if she gives away anything on her face. Like, I don't know if that's insight or investigation you can, or you what. Can, you can do insight. Okay. Nice, roll. With a 17, she... Seems unfazed by this. I'm going to slowly move my hand to the middle. <laughs> I'm trying to read her face the whole time. Unfazed. And then to the left. Unfazed. You can safely Fuck, assume with, the, with this insight check, <laughs> it isn't the fact that she's trying to hide something. It's the fact that she doesn't even know what these cards do. Oh. I like how you roll. I'm going to grab the right one. All right. There yeah, you the right one. Yeah, the right one. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> son of a bitch. Uh, she will take <laughs> the uh, left and middle one uh, back and hand you the right one. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let me go ahead. Uh, Brett, Do can I roll perception rolls? to see where she puts them? Oh my god. Absolutely. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you look at her, go back to the bookshelf. Okay. <laughs> I'm just standing on the table, kind of like. <laughs> anyway, I'm <laughs> gonna get down. Uh, give me one second. Okay. All right. Uh. Huh. Okay. It gives you a nod. Awesome. You to unseal the card is very simple. In a sort of magical machine around this card. It, it, the card looks as if it's the size of like a tarot card. Once right. you remove the sheen, reveal the contents of the card. Then, is it bigger than a deck of cards cards? It's it's yes, it is bigger than a deck of cards card. Okay. I would say probably double the size of a of a deck of cards oh, cards. Oh, okay. Um as mentioned before, removing the seal here will nullify whatever effect was with the card. But the effect itself will be 
these cards are cleanly have the potential to be extremely powerful rich beyond your wildest dream, but can also yeah. heal your fate most worst way possible exercise extreme caution before you unseal the card do you understand right. i always do yeah i'm uh, pretty good at that yeah caution paying attention uh, <laughs> Right. Model. He's just looking at the card. <laughs> Model, I'm adding you to the stay away from me, Glubber. <laughs> Look at this that shiny card. Shiny card. I know. I don't want you anywhere near me when you open that thing. You is it iridescent? Me? Like, like, what? Like, what do you mean? Is it like is holographic? It different colors, holographic. When I hold it in different angles. Yeah, yeah. You know what I would say it is from the magical. I'm holding it up in front it. of the in front of the gang. Like, guys, look, it's awesome. <laughs> Sidles away a little like uncomfortably close Another to fucking face. chaotic piece of shit that's gonna blow up and ruin one of yeah, Clark's yeah. turns in a yeah. fight. <laughs> All right. And you, God. diplomatic <laughs> clerks, what are you looking for? Uh, a new instrument of some kind? Oh, no, no, no. You see, I've actually been, uh, been dabbling a little bit in some uh, wizardry, you see more recently and you you seem like a pretty accomplished wizard yourself and uh, this book here clarence gonna smack down his level one spell tome with nothing but level one spells is sort of i've already sort of reached the cap of what this thing can really provide me you know anything a little more uh, advanced i see give me one moment actually hold on apparently my audio has been cutting down a uh it's a harpsichord no no that's fine uh test 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 that hasn't been cutting out dude they chat so psycho and will say anything what do you mean oh much better what was it wrong before guys it's Sometimes when chat says there's an audio issue on my stream, what I'll do is say I'm changing something and not change anything and watch <laughs> as it confuses the person that was complaining. Oh my god. And I almost completely say it's better. Me. Yeah, I know it was Bill cutting off. Yeah. Say it's better. yeah, I know it was cutting off a while back. But other than that. Yeah, you, it got, be. Bro, you got socially hacked, my man. I, I think I got socially Sometimes hacked. You got, you got socially hacked. hacked. I think I got socially normal. hacked. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look at Emma, look at my mic audio and see that it's fine. Hold on. Yeah, it's fine. God damn it, chat. You got me. <laughs> you got me. You got me. Another hack successfully performed. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I got I I I I I got hacked. Yeah. Yeah. I know. All right. Yeah. Hold on one yeah. second. I'm gonna keep my audio mixer right here. I use the card. Oh, but no, no I don't <laughs> use the card. <laughs> Your instinct to just fucking slide away. <laughs> I'm peering around the corner. Oh, All right. <laughs> right. Where were we? Uh, oh, it wasn't. <laughs> no magician. I thought you said it was cutting off for me, and then followed with even the female voice was fine. And I was like, I am so fucking confused. Getting, you got me again, Chad. I know. I know. I'm fine. I'm Just fine. Believe I'm fine. in yourself. I believe yeah, in myself. I believe in myself. Sound. I know. I'm getting known. Done, I'm getting known. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm hey. Hey. I'm, <laughs> how dare you? There. I, I know I know you were bad, thank you. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so uh continue, uh Clarent. Yes, I, I what had, I had completed. Oh, you slapped you slammed the book down and yeah, dust I slammed goes the everywhere. book down. I want an, I want a, I want an upgrade, you know? Oh, this book this book's uh I mean my what? Clarence's only other option really at the moment in the story to get an upgrade to his thing is to build a fucking bridge above mm -hmm. space mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to get to a library. That doesn't seem like a very immediately accessible option for Clark to accelerate his own power. So what do you mean by an upgrade to this tome of, of some sort? Uh... Well, uh, the magic in this one, it's all pretty basic stuff. It's uh, in, in a couple more weeks, I'm going to need more than this. And I have no other, I don't have any way to get more than this. The magic's within. Do you mind if I, and then she reaches for the tome. 
Yeah, sure, knock yourself out. Hmm. Oh, let me see here. She'll drag the tome over, looking uh, at it, opens it, uh, trying to figure out what you mean by the magics, and and there she sees scribed within is all the basic first level spells that you have, and she smirks a little bit before understanding exactly what you say. Ah, you, uh, you're looking for more spells yeah, to be scribed. Yeah, yeah, more spells in the book. Well, that would take some time. I could issue a, you a new tome. This is actually something we issue to our, uh, our senior students over at the Exodus Academy, our year sevens. Right. Would that would that suffice for you? Hmm? All right, I reckon it would. Um, all right. He will walk over through the books easily uh, before pulling one of them, turning around, and handing it to you. Adorned is the seal of the Exodus Academy. Uh, it seems to look as if it's like a, like a textbook, but extremely thick. With, uh, with pages of various spells. And she hands this to you and says, this should suffice for, well, for quite some time. Or once you become more of a powerful magister, that these, if these spells don't work for you anymore, feel free to request an audience with me. I would be happy. Lovely, lovely. I would be happy to assist. Do you mind no, if I, I keep this um, for my records? That's a, that's a, that's a rental. I gotta bring that one uh, back to my uh, back to the back to the person who lent it to me. I'm afraid, but uh, you know, maybe once I'm done with this one, uh, they'll be willing to give it to me permanently. The old one, I can bring it back over here another time. Um, yeah, that would actually suffice. So she hands you the giant uh, textbook-like tome. Uh, this tome. Uh, has all the spells scribed uh, from levels one to three. All the spells that would normally be taught to a student of the Exodus Academy through their seven years tenure uh, within yes. the school. Yes. Very good. If you uh, wish to learn more, mm, I am stepping down uh, for a, a small period of time, but uh, you would be welcome to join the uh, Exus Academy, if you so desire. Oh, uh, well, uh, that's an awfully kind offer. Maybe, maybe sometime, maybe. Got a lot on our plate right now, though, you see. Mm, yes, of course, I, uh, I understand completely. If you change your mind, uh, head north to the mountains. Uh, you will be welcomed, and I am sure we can discuss uh, a fair arrangement for tuition. All right, all right. Lovely. Is, is the book open on the table? The uh, the, the both the, tomes the are closed. Figure. Both tomes are closed unless someone has opened them. Okay, and they are they in front of Clint? Clint would have started sort of thumbing through the new one, but the okay. old one would would he would have put back in his bag. With Clint turning his head to her, can I sleight of hand draw a picture of Clint with the word nerd on his forehead <laughs> in the corner of one page? <laughs> As quickly and as rudimentary as it takes to do so, can I do that, Brett? Uh, I have inks and I have quills and I have I, a will. I will require an insanely high stealth check. <laughs> stealth or sleight of hand? Well, stealth first to see if you can do this unnoticed. Oh, oh actually, right. no, we'll do, we'll do sleight, we'll do sleight of hand, we'll do sleight of hand. <laughs> With a 15, uh, you are spotted immediately as a th random goblin hand, uh, clerk. Yeah, it can be spotted <laughs> trying to like reach what are over you, to you. What is your problem? What are you doing? I was trying to help you with your magic uh, education. You were trying to try and help me with what? Your magical education, Clint. All right, I was trying to teach you something that I've learned. All right, what were you, what were you trying to teach me? A spell glyph that I've learned in my travels. I mean, go for it. I draw <laughs> Clint with, with nerd on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> or I start doing it anyway. I'm going to I'm going to move away from him. <laughs> I won't what? let you bully me. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? No. My, my, what's your problem? You're embarrassing me. <laughs> you I'm embarrassing her. You're embarrassing me. 
<laughs> You're book smart, Clint, but that makes you a nerd, and that's okay. I don't have time to, I don't have time to unpack all this with you today. <laughs> Dika, what are you, what are you getting from the nice lady? Um, uh, so while, pe while, while you're saying that, she'll just simply state, I, uh, I, well, I believe that should suffice for all your rewards. It, uh, um, what about Pickle, though? It's what about me? She looks over at you and says, I don't know. Are you interested in a reward from me? It's, well... Is everybody else got one? It's feel left out. <laughs> yeah, don't leave her out. She leave her out. <laughs> Did you say leave? Jesus, what the fuck? She uh, she's gonna go ahead and look over at you, um, and give a slight smirk. Very well then. What would you be interested in, little pickle? Pickle. Look at her friends and kind of scratch her head. Oh, yes. Well, you yes, want, yes, want everyone to appreciate the pickle power. It's so very important to me. She's gonna Never. like hold out her jar. She, she acts like none of us appreciate her pickle power when we she wants always everyone have, though. But like, she, she, dude, she wants to create day. fucking it's religion. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, she'll look over at you and it's like, I mean, that sounds more of a uh, family conflict. I don't know how I'd be able to resolve that. Uh. Okay, it's just surprise me. It's not going to leave empty-handed. It's very rude. You give friends my gifts. You don't give me gifts. I was going to just start coughing over this unbelievable <laughs> just tantrum. Pekel's now throwing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. She's going to stop her getting red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. just not fair. It's not Pico, give maybe, gifts. Maybe, you maybe, give maybe, maybe, gifts. maybe, maybe, try, please. please. Pico, maybe try, please. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> Hopes it out of her. <laughs> while, please. While you all are calming Pickel down, you will notice the headmaster heading at the head of the warg. You left up now, lady. What did you wait? What did what did what did you say? I keep getting cut off. I'm not made fun of Pika. <laughs> I'm excited for Pika. Right, right. Why are you all so mad at me? I love it. We need Sorry, to we didn't hear you, man. You were behind us all. You speak in your okay. I say you in for it now, lady. You no pet dog. You gotta get up your pickle in the poo poo. <laughs> is what I was trying to say. Oh, yeah. Perfect. perfect. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Got it. Um. Well, she's she's petting the warg. He's not pet my dog. He's not show respect to me. She looks down, tears welling up in her eyes. She looks over at you. Yes, but you love this warg. Very much, don't you? Holy fuck. She furrows her brow and looks up, her eyes teary, not understanding what she's getting at. Well, I'm sorry, Ikel. Your Borg is, and I recognize this almost right away. He's, he's a runt. The runt of the litter. Ew. This is as big as he'll ever grow. Probably has it's a very short lifespan. He's not care. He's a family. He's love him very much. He's not care. I know. What if I can remove these abnormalities for you? So that you don't Death have you, you don't have to ever have to mourn your little pup dying before you would. 
is how long the lifespan. She looks at the warg, furrows her brow. Two, three years at best. Oh, it's that long before that. It's Don't worry. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. 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 Whoa, whatever. We'll We're be dead. super dead. Can I, um, can I make an insight check to see if she's lying? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Nine. Jesus. Yeah, we've been here before. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with a yes, nine. This is yours to fight this one. Hmm. Not getting involved. Yeah, y'all say the word. We can kill this lady. I think we can do this. I We're think. inside her realm right now. We're in oh, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. her she zone. We She's got if him. we weren't in her zone, it might be a different situation, but we have to get out of here first. Uh, with a nine insight, uh, you do not detect any dissent. Hmm. Her resolve uh, seems pretty stalwart. I think I was going to look back at model. Hang on, I got a question, Brett. Yeah. What would... Actually, no, it's too late. Never mind. What do you mean by it's too late? It, I, I would have had to have decided to do it before uh, I knew the outcome of the role. I uh, could technically have boosted Pekel's role with Portent, but gotcha. uh, mm, gotcha. it would have been yeah. cutting it very close. Yeah. I right. change anything. <clears throat> What's up, Pekel? He's not know what to do. Well... You love the warg, right? Mm hmm I spent three gold on it. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dick! <laughs> In character, Brie, come on. Um, um, it's not about the money. Not for you, yeah. It's family, like Vin Diesel's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the famous Vin Diesel's goblin, goblin in this world. Yeah. Yeah. Vin Diesel, everyone loved him. Spelled <laughs> V-Y-N. D E E S L L L. Yeah. Oh, Vin Diesel. I'm actually Vin Diesel. Crying. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. A very famous couple. Very famous. Yeah, we all love <laughs> all about family. <laughs> You're so fast. All right. And furious. We're real the angry. Small. That guy. Yeah, furious at the small. <laughs> fast and furious at the small. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, you, you love the war, He's right? going to pay you back. He's just how No, 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 you don't have to pay me back. Listen. Okay, right? he's not going to anyways. Go ahead. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Um, if you want to take care of it, I mean, I don't know how old... Wait, hold on. How old are you, Pickle? Oh, it's going to, like, lean you in. You can't also. ask a lady how old she is. No, but, no, but really... Not normally, but it's, like, kind of pertinent right now. Yeah. How old are you, Pickle? Um, if... Fucking furrows brow, pinches chin. <laughs> uh, do you know? Yeah, are you aware? Are he's you aware? Not, he's not super sure. He was raised by wolves. I. Oh. Oh. I... You know, that makes a lot of sense. That explains everything. That explains yeah. a lot of How the fuck have we not asked you this, actually? Yeah. He's, um, hmm. He's not, no. How old do you. Both I'm, of you. Like, I'm like 20, give or take a year or two. You know, 30. Yes. So You're 30, what the fuck? Oh, Holy fuck. Like, <laughs> so old. And goblin <laughs> years explains a lot old. of your cynicism. Uh, goblins can, <laughs> goblins can uh, live 60, up to it? 60, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, but usually, but usually they, they die by 20. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> yeah, right, because of circumstances. Yeah, well, Jesus, circumstances, right. correct, correct. Chisel counts on his fingers and toes. Sixteen year old. Wow, younger than me. That makes sense. Skagzag, Skag I say to the room because I don't know exactly where he's gone. <laughs> Skagzag, uh, half asleep in the plant. Has it been? Uh, I'm still poisoned. A minute? Was it? Uh, yeah. Oh, it, it's, for it's, an hour, it, oh it's, it's definitely been a minute. For a minute. Uh, you yeah. you absolutely see Skagzag like asleep in the. I thought it was an hour. No, uh, poison is an hour. hour. Oh Invisi no, you're, po you're poisoned for oh, yeah. an hour. You're invisible for a minute. Yeah. Can Grendor roll for how old he is, please? <laughs> I mean, ultimately, what? it's one to sixty. It's uh, it's up to Grendor. Roll for how old? I Rd sixty. How old? Rd sixty. Uh, let's see. 
Unless it's already canon. I'll throw in a D70. Yeah, oh, there we go. Oh, oh yes, my God. Oh, yes. Oh, wise. This guy wise. takes his away from death. <laughs> the wild magic surge. He's learning everything. Yeah, the wild magics that are surging within him is the only thing that's holding him alive. Oh, fuck. It's all veins. Oh, my God. He's, tw he's paper mache and twigs. I very oh gently God. jostle Skank's egg away. How old are you, buddy? Uh, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. Uh, How old are you? How old am I? Yeah. Why do you want to know? Oh, everyone's sharing. It's kind of like a bonding sharing. thing. How old are you? Twenty, mate. How old's he? Oh. I point to uh to uh pickle. I. He. <laughs> hey. I listen. I. I'm gonna vomit again. <laughs> God damn it! All over model. <laughs> Can I roll to dodge? Uh, I mean, you, you could go ahead and do an unarmed uh, attack with your vomit if you'd wish. <laughs> okay, oh I'll just take God. the vomit if you want. Um, is, is have an idea. Um, yeah. It's going to make communicate with Pickle God and ask up for advice. You no, know, I could also, uh... Oh. I mean, I could, I could technically try talking to the warg, see what they want. Can you make oh. it so Pickle can talk to warg, or can only you? I might have the, I might have the ability to... To speak no, to animals? No, I can't speak to animals, but I can make an animal comprehend me, and we could ask it simple yes or oh. no questions. Yeah, it could not oh. attend. That's about what yeah. I can do. That could be good. I'm going to my rituals, I, I don't animals. have any that do much more than that yet. Okay. So. I'm pretty sure I can talk to animals now. Wait, what? Yeah, but Skagzak's kind of definitely oh. out of the picture. <laughs> That's also true, yeah. The 64-year-old goblin in his own vomit lying in a planted pot. <laughs> It'd be wild to pull Skagzak over. <laughs> yeah. Maybe best just uh, leave Granddad. Yeah, one of my eldritch invocations is now I can speak with animals at will. Oh, oh that's awesome. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have two choices. We can either have me... Uh, not poisoned, half unconscious, Skagzag do it, or we can have Skagzag do it. Or Pickel <laughs> speaks to the Pickle God, which is something that, that is, we is unprecedented. Tri we could triple up and do all yeah. three, technically. See what the Pickle up. God says, and maybe then we can speak to the Warg and let, ask their okay. opinions. Okay. I'm going to cast Commune. <sighs> okay. Hold hands, everyone. I can post it in the chat, too. How much um, longer am I poisoned? Oh, you're for an hour. You're poisoned for pretty much minutes. the rest. Well, I mean, how much time guy. has gone by is what I'm saying. Oh, like a few minutes. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> no, poison all right. poison doesn't right. mean you're dysfunctional. You know, you can still participate over here if you want. No, it's down to what you want. Great. I'm definitely just not able to do anything. <laughs> okay, it takes a minute to cast. Okay, I start casting it. How you does know, Pickle uh... cast this? What what does Pickle do to cast this divination? She's going to clasp her hands together and stare up at the ceiling. <laughs> does she listen oh, into her pickle jar pickle like a God, shell? Yes, pickle God. That's a good idea, actually. It starts like <laughs> swirling the pickle jar in circles. <laughs> sloshing the juice. Pickle's going to need a couple minutes to think on this, all right? Oh, yeah. Pickle God, you should answer me with divine wisdom. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Looks about room. <laughs> Skeptically. <laughs> sure they can even hear us in this place? Yeah, that's a good point. Um, So you're going to spend the minute to cast? Yeah. She's too focused on her ritual. Give me one second. I need to check something real quick. Okay. Uh, advanced audio settings. This, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, this is pickles like 11 days old. <laughs> <laughs> you guys found actually yeah model ran into her like two days after she was born <laughs> <laughs> all 
All right. All right. We never did find out how old her character was. Well, I mean, we, she doesn't really know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Why I, do you I, think I, I'm asking the guards? <laughs> uh, obvi obviously, uh, because this new computer, I'm still trying to get my voice mod shit working. Uh, <clears throat> Is this a good reverb? It's good enough. Yeah. It sounds like you're or in a pickle, pickle jar. So yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're in a pickle jar. <laughs> oh, is it, it was, did it sound like it's not a big room? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It sounds like I mean, a big it room. It sounds perfect. Yeah. Sounds perfect sounds for good. the situation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like a very long pickle jar. Yeah. Okay. okay. Like you, can, into a you, you can still hear me, though? You can still hear this? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> it sounds so yeah. godly, yeah. Do it, <laughs> do it Brett. Okay. Okay. It sounds uh, like the god's about to do a stand-up act. <laughs> yeah, hey, everyone, hey, 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 upon me. hey, 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 let's take on. Let's take on. Hey, hey how's it going? <laughs> so I was over at the mud pit the other day. <laughs> All right, anyways. Okay, anyways. Oh, god. I'm going to love to hear that later on and see what the fuck that sounds like. <laughs> sounds great, mate. Yep. Yo, pickles, am I right? Anyways, okay, I'm done with this. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, after a minute, you have mm -hmm. cast yourself the commune spell. A fifth level divination. Uh, yeah, one this minute. This is very important. This is very important. Divine beasts aren't necessarily omnis uh, omniscient, uh, so you might, not receive an, uh, you might receive unclear as an answer. A question pertains to information that lies beyond the deity's knowledge. In a case where a one-word answer could be misleading a contra or contrary to the deity's interest, the GM might offer a short phrase as an answer instead. If you can cast a spell uh, two or more times before finishing your next long rest, there is a cumulative 25% chance for each casting after uh, the full uh, the first that you get no answer. Ah. So, what's the over-under on how omniscient a pickle god is? I, I can't wait to find out. I no. don't even know, like, yeah, yeah what kind of know. god is this? Is it a pickle god? <laughs> Let's find out. All right. Hello? Starts <laughs> looking around like that <laughs> pickle phone. Thing you mean, dude. <laughs> yeah. She puts the jar to her ear <laughs> like a phone. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, what? <laughs> With the show, you guess it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Hello. Yes. <gasps> oh, it's so wonderful to hear you. There is no response. Oh, okay, it's must focus. Need to ask three questions. Okay. <clears throat> she looks at her warg and then looks back up at the ceiling. She clasps her hands together. Is is my pet work dying? In a vague PKL, all of us are technically dying. Yeah. Yeah. See, now look what you did. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, I, I have no idea what this sounds like. I'm hoping it's like a high pitched uh, pickle gun. It's great. It's okay. hilarious. Okay, it's really good. Great. Okay, good, good, good. Um. Uh. Is, is my pet work going to die in the next two to five years? Um, Interesting. Unclear. Did you say unclear? Yeah, unclear. Yeah, determinism is a confusing concept. Yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe ask if the warg is sick or something like that. But... Isn't, isn't, she didn't say he was sick. She just yeah, said he is so runt. Runt of the litter run. sort of implies like a fucking. I'm it's the runt not, of the litter. It's not right? well. Right? Not, I'm well. I'm perfectly this fine. Runt can sometimes overcome. Yeah, like an underdog story, like an underwalk story. Underwalk story. <laughs> underwalk. Uh, <laughs> Pickle, maybe um, like what are you trying to get from your god right now? He just wants some guidance on what to do is not right. know if we can trust the lady but you scare very much maybe ask if you can trust her oh he's not so smart he said the final question thank you very much by the way is is uh, uh is what her name what's her name 
model? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Run. <laughs> uh, Archmagister Gloria Kronos. She's okay. Archmagister Glorian's Glonmos. <laughs> he's, he's Archmagister mm-hmm. Gloria Kronos trustworthy. Silence falls over. I point to her. No. <gasps> oh. Does everyone hear this answer? Just no, it's me. just it's just in your ear, okay. right? Okay. Her eyes widen. Okay, thank you, God. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. I love my power. I bye bye. Bye bye. Can I peer inside the pickle jar and see if I see a god like kicking around down there? <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is he? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm going to try to just... Actually, I can tell- telepathically tell you guys. Mm. Uh, so I will telepathically say... Is God said is not trustworthy. Archmagister not trustworthy. So he's not going to let her touch dog. What did you say then, Pickle? Wait, what? Sorry, what out you loud. Ask? But Mottel saying out loud, what did oh, your god oh. say? Oh. His god told me he need to think about it. He need to take Warg back to swamp where we found it and get care and love. He said, thank you for offer, Archmagister. He's not interested today, though. Oh, right. He maybe you give me something else, though. Oh, well. Chill, <laughs> chill. She'll stand back up and with a smile across her face. I don't, I don't know what, what to give you. I mean, uh, what else are you interested in? The only thing I seen you love is, and she'll pat the warg on the head. It's also, um, mm, She loves cooking. I still love cooking. I love pickles. You don't own any shoes. She loves converting people to her religion. Mm. Or anything like that. Well, I mean, if she's interested in pickles, I'm sure we could do something. Um, oh, I don't know. How about a, how about a, a magical staff that uh, creates a feast of pickles? <gasps> she I mean, looks you- around at everyone. <laughs> what Is something fuck? you can do? Well, I mean, is that something she can do? Hold on one second. <laughs> Making things up to fuck with her at this point. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the trauma, by the way, Brian. You did <laughs> promise me Kel would get You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Oh. 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 Ooh, very well. Don't mind if we do. I have just the thing for you. Uh oh. I was saving this for a special occasion, but. Pose. One moment, please. It's very special. She's gonna like clasp her hands together, try to look angelic. Gonna play with Wolf Scruff. Yeah. Yep, she uh, leaves the room for Three the Three old gold. <laughs> Marvel! You're worth so much to me, so much more. Probably like six gold now. You've grown. Uh, the warg will bark happily oh. and lick your hand. <sighs> ah, yes. Here, here you are now. Uh, she will walk back with what appears to be a giant... Um, like a very large serving plate. And what are those oh. uh, those toppers that, that usually have, like, uh, they keep the food warm? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I mm, forget that called. Yeah. yeah. So it, Upside it, down plates. Yeah. yeah, it appears to be... <laughs> Anyways, uh, this seems to be... Uh, uh, this seems to be made of uh, iron and steel. And okay. she, ha- she hands it to you, seals. And she says, this only can be used once, but perhaps, but perhaps you may uh, 
find it useful. I was going to use it in, in a celebration that has that is yet to come. But you seem to be deserving of this. This will create a glorious feast of the person's desires. I'm sure yours will be pickle themed of some kind. <gasps> and she will hand you the plate and the uh, topper. I take it. So this is a one time Hero's Feast, which is a sixth level oh. spell. Oh That's shit. That's good. That's you really bring, good. You bring forth a great feast, including magnificent food and drinks. Obviously, oh. if you decide to, you can theme this over pickles. The feast yes. takes one hour to consume and disappears at the end of that time. And the beneficial effects don't set in until that hour is over. Up to 12 uh, other creatures can partake in this feast. Oh. A creature that partakes of this feast gains several benefits. The creature is cured of all diseases and poison, becomes immune to poison and being frightened, and makes all wisdom saving throws with advantage. Its hit points uh, maximum also increase by 2d10, and it gains the same number of hit points. These benefits last for 24 hours. Nice. That's a really good buff bus. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Buff yeah. bu boss buff. Yeah. <laughs> You got this. Jesus you said Christ. planted Words pot hard, earlier. You know, yeah, I did. I did. I thought no one fucking <laughs> caught it. Fuck you. Uh. Benji, you can't be sassy and then not expect sass to be thrown back at you. My I love it. I love it. I love <laughs> it. Uh, all right. Do Ooh. we have a bag of holding? We don't have a bag of holding, do we? Fuck, we should have asked for we one. We should really wait, get wait. a bag of holding. Is M.M. is given bag to hold this? <laughs> She, nice. she, the raised, she raises an eyebrow, uncertain of what you want, and then she's like, "What can you use for a bag?" Oh, yes. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I suppose this will handle for now, and she will give you a bag of holding. Fuck oh. yeah! Oh my god, yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the platter in there carefully. It, is it just plate, like a yeah. singular cloche thing or is it like and then you put it down and then it casts the spell when you lift it off yeah when you lift it off the spell is That's cast cool. right cool so it's not just food sitting around cool yeah it's uh and it's a one use uh item so that's awesome nice, so nice nice she will sit back down looking at everyone all right i believe this satisfies your rewards Oh Are yeah, this has been yeah. just lovely. Thank you very much. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely wonderful. So I understand that. Uh, what are your plans now? Uh, I, I assume you would like to go back to your goblet lands. Yeah, that's kind of been on the docket for a little while. Cheezel's got a whole. Cheezel, you still care about uh, what's his name, the chief, big gut, big belly, something like that. I got me king. I have points to my Gobby crown. King. I got me king. Yeah, but Jesus of what? what? What's your homeland? Jesus. Uh, he stares blankly. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. Gobby. And he like tinks his crown multiple times. King. Oh my God. What are we going back there for? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should like reevaluate. <laughs> oh, Maybe we need to oh, reevaluate what we're doing. <laughs> we need to reevaluate the way we do negotiations. Pikel got that bag of holding in two seconds. <laughs> no questions asked. That's because I try to be polite to people, model. All right. Maybe you're doing something wrong. I don't it's know. He's not no manner. He's raised by wolves. Right. She yeah. smiles and looks down at her bag. Pikel's cried five times factor. since we walked in here. <laughs> yeah, crocodile tears, clan. He's going to cry. Yeah, maybe you need to cry more, clan. That's what we've learned. I mean, above board, I very much want to take over the human kingdom and then send them to war to Chief Big Belly and then control all of IO. Yeah, well, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Right. Good above that board dream sense. to have. It's good to yeah. have dream. <laughs> I mean, that's my plan. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you're curious, that's what how I'm going to roll from now on. So just. Right. So in humans case we come away. across in positions of power, always at risk. Got it. Everyone, yes. Because I have yes. a crown. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Right. Yeah, what so, the fuck are we doing? She would look over at you. I, I, I simply assumed you'd be returning back to your homeland. 
Yeah, I reckon, uh, reckon that's one of the first places on the list. I don't know, we keep getting detoured, so it's always never really felt like a guaranteed thing we were going to do. You know? Oh, yeah. Well, I can, I'm sure I can take you back very easily. Um, how did you get here, by the way? Well, you cast a spell, and we walked in the magical doorway. Oh, my apologies. Uh, to this region. Did you arrive by foot? I, I am well, uncertain. We, uh, I am uncertain. You fell out how... of the sky, if you remember, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you know that. Right, but how did you get there? Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's just what? a blank part of our memory, right? There's a lot of there's a lot of mess in there, right? It was a lot of lot of travel time. Lots of stuff yeah. happened. Right, but uh, again, how did you end up on the corpse of a oh, uh, a giant baby? Magic, and that's magic. All. Yeah. So, uh, teleportation spell. Yeah. Sure. I can do that like that. Sure. Was, was this from a teleportation spell from the Ishtar Highlands? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Technically, we can include that. I don't think we want to talk about Pretty the Astral sure. Academy. Uh, we don't want to talk about what we found. We technically got teleported from Ishtar, so we can say yeah. that. That's not a lie. Oh, okay. No. Um, was it a, a, a spell of some sort cast by someone or a magical location? Uh, well, we were, uh, Clint's gonna do some fabrication here. Uh, we were in, uh, you know, I was going out to get my, uh, bard degree, actually, at the time, and, uh, well, you know, one of the dang rooms had a magical item right on the inside, activated by accident, poof. Uh, hmm. place we aren't very used to, right after that. I see. Well, if you wish to not travel by foot, I couldn't teleport you back there if you... So desire. It would involve a little bit of backtracking, of course. Uh, have you heard of anything? Have you heard of the ley line? Or specifically, a ley line? Ley lines? No. Yes. Uh, I don't think we've bumped into any. Well, so, it's not that you bump into them. <laughs> not at all. It, um, whenever you teleport, you leave behind a, 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 a trail. Uh, this trail, obviously not visibly seen, is your ley line. It kind of oh, reveals God. where you've gone and where you've been. I can, I am powerful enough that we can tra the, trace the ley line back to your college of some sort. Is there any way to like uh, cleanse your ley line history? <laughs> I mean, I mean, the ley line itself uh, dissipates within time. How long? Depending, uh, I mean, it always lingers a little bit there, but yeah, it does. Look, from, a, from a standard magister, a, a few months. Pickle God's oh. been. Pickle God said not to trust this lady. I've got yeah. all sorts of weird vibes yeah. from you. Don't want to find where we've been. I, she wants to get. You know, in man, yeah. Honestly, I think we've had enough teleportation for a lifetime. Uh, yeah. I think. Uh, Look, I think we can find our way back. No problem. No problem. Probably couldn't handle the journey. He's in. The oh, Skaggs definitely can't handle another teleportation. He's, he's uh, very uh, tired. It's time to go home. Yes. Uh, uh, Besides, we're used to traveling under the stars. Exactly, we love it. I'm gonna follow my string oh. backwards. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> Around the table. <laughs> uh, do I get to the break? Yeah, you get to the break. <laughs> oh my God, she can't be trusted. <laughs> How does model interpret this cut? Uh, that she, she did it. <laughs> I tell I tell I tell her Pathize. I, I speak into Pelope. <laughs> <laughs> she can't be trusted. Get out now. You gotta be kidding me right now, Mark. Says in fucking telepathy. <laughs> she. I will. You've been. This has really been such a lovely, uh, lovely meeting. I will certainly take you up on that. Uh, that, that, that education offer at some point in my distant future, but we really do have to start getting on out of here. Isn't that right, Jesus? I, I, yeah, I suppose yeah. if you're going yeah, by yeah. that, to return back to the Ishtar Highlands would take months on foot. Are, are, are you sure? Oh, we live for the journey. Oh, we, we live circus. for the journey. Yeah, we that's where we make most of our money. Journey. Uh, well, all right then. It's... Enjoy your adventure. It's been a pleasure to meet each and every one of you, and 
The kingdom of Ishtar thanks you. Yeah. Somebody grab Skagzag. Yeah, it's Chisel, you mind grabbing Skagzag? I'm not touching him. I am royalty. Yeah, These you are. These are kings. And the king watch out people. For, watch out for their people. Yeah, serve your Skagzag. Okay. I just like <laughs> grab at what I think is a slimy vomit foot and drag Skagzag out of the bushes. <laughs> Yep. Uh, Honestly. Come he, with your majesty, <laughs> servant. Uh, More noble oh, than geez. most kings I know. And I just slowly drag him. All right. So you guys I have are leaving. No energy to do anything. Um. So you uh, are leaving the uh, mansion. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. And also, point of clarification: How conscious was Skagzag for any or any of that? I mean, he's poisoned. He's still conscious. No, I know, but from Eric's choice, did he go to actual sleep or are you just lying there? Eric. What? I thought you were asking Brett a thing. Oh, well, I mean, you, uh, uh, yeah, that, that, would, that would ultimately be up to uh, to Crandor, yeah. yeah. Did you go to sleep here? And did you hear like what we were saying through I was telepathy? just in a twilight state okay. of like pain. <laughs> Agony and everything I could hear, but it was just kind of like how you're in pain. You're like, ah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so like, we're yeah. all on the same page that she's bad news then. Yeah. That's good. Cool. Uh, you guys uh, walk out of what it just appears to be a doorway. And as you walk out and turn around, um, the land itself, uh, the forest, uh, the forested village is before you. All right. Uh, is the portal still directly behind us? Uh, the portal is not visible. All right. We can operate in a social. She can easily walk out of that and follow us. So I don't want to talk shit about her here. I'm going to take my strength. Citizens! Oh, no. Uh, let it happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Howdy. Uh, how are you doing? Oh, I cheese your new king! Ah, uh, I... I <clears throat> this man will just start walking away. That guy's a smart guy. Yeah. He's your king! They kind of keep their head down, walking away from you. Jeez, old mate. Moto, I'm, I'm the king. You are a king, buddy. To us, you're a little king, but... If you want to be a king of other people, you got to earn their trust. How I having... how I do that? How I do that? Yeah, I mean, just having the crown on your head doesn't really make you their king, right? Yeah, that's just a crown on your head, Jesus. Yeah, Lord. that's like the the bare minimum. How I how I gain how I gain trust? You have to be really, really epic, and then they'll choose you <laughs> as their king. Typically, not killing them. Not killing? Yeah, yeah no, no, not impulsively you, killing their children. Don't impulsively their, their kill stock. the people that they like or get along not, with. Not, not killing. Them. They're just gonna move along just a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are not okay. <laughs> She's all like runs <laughs> like top speed at this guy right here, uh, almost like tackling him. Uh, 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 he falls down to the ground. Mister, Mister, Mister! Uh, <laughs> His face is bloodied as you tackle him down to the ground as he tries to get up. He like gets right up in his face and he's like, Who you hate most? Hey, you right now, get off of me! And he'll shove you off. Who you hate second most? <laughs> uh, he's gonna try and walk away. What? Grappling. Mister? <laughs> he's Mi chisel. Mister? Chisel, chisel. Uh, uh, God! <laughs> There's a little sir, green guy. Sir, there's, sir, there's no reason to bring guards into this. I'm, I'm terribly sorry about um, him. Uh, who you hate most? Just tell him who you hate the most after him, all right? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, the government? Oh, okay. what is you, you just had to say that, didn't you? Clint's gonna grab Jesus' car and pull him to the others. A little revolutionary in our hands now. All right, Jesus, maybe this is a bad town to start. Clark, who government? Uh, well, we can cover it on the road, all right, Jesus? On the way back home. But I... Jesus, help! Then Jesus, king! 
Jeez, it's a long conversation to talk about that. All right, we can talk about it on the road. Worry about okay. it too much right now, all right? Clark doesn't okay. want to talk to Chisel about how he can dismantle the government, to be fair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He will. He will in time. We will in time. If he ever brings yeah. it up again, Clark will happily talk to him. The minute we step tent. out of town, I'm bringing it up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Where the fuck are we going? Well, Clark's going to pull out the map. Uh, Technically, we should probably go back to... And, uh, you was... know... Uh, tell Manda that we actually took care of, um, everything. All right, uh, Deal with the stuff yeah. that we got from that mushroom bastard. If it even was the right guy, I'm still not convinced. Yeah, uh, once right. we're done with that, I think we're heading due south. And Clarnel points south on the map and start facing that direction, which is just about that way. Wait, why are we going south again? I forgot. We want it. Unless someone has decided they have a better thing they want to do, I think we're heading back home for now, right? That was the yeah, plan, right? Yeah, and that's and south. That's south. That. Right. You sound good to me. Yeah. Above board, All right. a travel south uh, on the road will take uh, quite be quite an extensive journey. Uh, you're looking at oh, anywhere yeah. between a month to two months, depending on your pace of travel and how fast you want to go and methods of travel as well. Um, about 8,000 different carriage? detours, dude. We're never getting back to the Ishtar well, Highlands. We could, Let's be fucking mm -hmm. honest now. <laughs> we could We're, do a roll. We there's could do like no a way we thing. don't get detoured into like some fucking horrible nightmare. Like always, <laughs> dude. <laughs> We're never getting back to Ishtar. How many worms are there between us and home, Brett? I'm How not. Many? I can't. All worms. I can't tell you that. Path. I can't tell you that. Well, I mean. <laughs> roll a D 20,000. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one twenty thousand. Come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on. Big one roll. or two, one or two at least. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm talking to myself. Uh, talk to myself. Uh, 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 I pressed the wrong button. Uh, one the twenty thousand. That that's pretty good. All things that's considered, pretty good. All <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Um, I mean, so on foot, obviously, um, if your next objective that you've decided to is to head back to Ishtar on foot, um, you'll, yeah, you'll be traveling. Well, uh, it, could it we will... ask around town for any modes of transport? Like, carriage, carriage, yeah, abso abso horses. carriage or horses? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, do... what, did we walk here with the senator or we did, did we like her, have yeah. a... Yeah, I mean, you uh, you would have done uh, horseback uh, from the uh, old academy. Oh, uh, over to the we could walk to that town, to the castle or whatever it was, the villa. Oh, he's definitely got spare horses and a carriage. Yeah, I mean, we could probably yeah. ask his guards. Yeah, yeah, plus he's dead and no one's running it. And I bet they'd tell me something about. I government. like how he's how just far been, is it? Uh, he's just been dead in that building for like forever. Brett. Yeah, oh yeah, they're gonna they. Uh, we don't even know if they've sent word. Brett, how yeah. long is it to back to his estate on foot? Uh, it's it's gonna be it would be a few days uh, on on foot. Okay, if we stretch that out into like a week, I can make a disguise and become him. <laughs> a tiny, I mean, I could a also tiny just version of him. No, 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 no. When we dude, get there. dude, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't understand. It's, it's dude, more than dude. just looking like someone. It's a so as an assassin rogue. Hold on, I get infiltration expertise. You can unfailingly create false identities for yourself over the course of seven days. If using the identity as a disguise, <laughs> other creatures believe you to be that person until given obvious reasons not to. Hmm. So you're telling me that we take over this guy's fucking <laughs> and use it to fight <laughs> we, the goblins? Well, if we want to, we could get a carriage or we could get, we could use the kingdom, yeah. For a little I bit, for a day or two before we're obviously fake. Holy I mean, shit. he's out of the way. It, the guards like us. Everyone yeah. like us more than they like him. I think we should do it. <laughs> it feels like, what honestly, if we take I'm over? not opposed. Yeah. Like, if <laughs> we, we merge that with this guy's person, you just guy's person my body, and I can, yeah. my character will do the voice and, the, and have, like, the documents, because I can create documents. All right, so it's sort of oh the only precarious thing about this is that I can only sustain your disguise for an hour at a time, which means we've got these really awkward hours. Just say you like, have IBS. Where we have yeah. to go yeah. to the bathroom, <laughs> and I have to go <laughs> with you. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not dead. Leaving. I was sick, so I had to go to the bathroom yes, very I, frequently. But, but I must help you, I guess. I must go with you yes. to the bathroom so every the, time. The sky, the sky <laughs> self does allow you to be one foot taller. 
Ooh. This guy self does that at a foot, but that puts me. That at guy was foot. short. That guy was short. It's Just fine. get in a chair. Just, like sit in a get chair. Stilts, Let's get platform uh, shoes if for we you. Get stilts, yes. But, yeah. Okay, but here's the thing. These two guards know he, everyone in this town knows he's dead. We might. Or yeah, they know that he was unconscious. I resurrected point, him. And only the two guards know he actually died. I am but an amazing to, cleric, need, and I use my pickle to power get, to resurrect we, him. We, yeah, we, we need to. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If we just get rid of the guards. Oh that God. doesn't work. What? No, no, Griff, Griff the gods. We need to convince yeah, the what gods that we know, resurrect know, them and it's me. How do we convince yeah. them? But but the problem is model needs a week to make the disguise convince. Yes. So, so here's the thing. We have the guards. to install these guards for a week of time. We need to no, find out where no, they buried no. his body. He's right. Well, right now he's here <laughs> in the building. <laughs> We're going to dig up a man's body. Is that who we are? <laughs> we we yes. never buried him. That was Cheezel who thought we were going to bury him in the middle of town. <laughs> if we if we convince them that a goblin in charge is better for the kingdom. They, I'm already no a king. Gonna, I love you, Cheezel. No one's going to I'm already. Yourself. I'm already a king. Hey, okay, here's what I could believe. I could believe Clark might be able to get away with that. I don't know if Cheezel can. <laughs> if I'm going to yeah, talk, if everyone hates the government, what if... and we bring down the government, and we free them from the bonds of the monarchy, once again, we're the heroes. I'm just Do saying. Do we have a monarchy? go in there and scope out how yeah. the guards like things right now? Okay, what if right, we go. ask to be alone in the room with the dead body because I'm a cleric and I can resurrect him? And then we just hide the body under the bed and model Learn. disguises No, but it's going to take a week for model no, to make No, 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 make, you don't need the papers. You don't need the, the papers identities. immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. We can use you to disguise self for the meantime yeah, okay. to make it look like yeah, 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 Model yeah. might be one of the least convincing disguised people I've ever seen in my whole life. He always drops the ball. <laughs> in canon, he bit, yeah. he's he's got it, dude. I mean, and I don't know. <laughs> I can't believe this is <laughs> it might than be just asking them to support revolution. Listen, if we're gonna leave town anyways, we may as well go out with a bang and try this. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if we get this, Cheezel, if we convince them that I am a, and that guy, I could, you know, maybe give you a position as like an earl or something, and then they you wouldn't. They, the wouldn't they wouldn't accept that. <laughs> This guy they isn't might. even the king. This guy was the earl or duke oh, or whatever he was. What, what if it's that? It's, it's maybe I can say steps. you fight. Yeah, yeah but, if, but if he gives me the power, then we're just one of them, man. We're just yeah, one of them. We just, but then you can climb the rungs within. of the social ladder. Yeah, yeah. We keep well, creating false identities for higher and higher people. Oh, <laughs> oh would she's corrupt me. Look, she's a by whatever fucking model says this point. He doesn't know. He doesn't understand what government is. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I must interrupt. An event is currently happening. Oh shit! Uh oh. The, An event. Uh, the arch magister. Oh god. Pops out of the magnificent mansion, looking to be in a bit of a panic. She swishes her hand as you see magic dispel itself. She casts a spell upon herself, holding down her hands. She then vanishes with a thunderous boom. What the fuck? Oh. Gonna... Above board, that's... Oh, I actually know. That's just role play. Oh, I'm just going to walk up to the thing. He has to, I, he has to detect magic stuff. Uh, Clarence going to... I guess... Did, well, how panicked was this? Like, how fucking... How shaken was this character? She looks alerted, which is mm. unusual for her uh, and your interactions with her. I'm going to cast... I guess detect magic and find out what ju what she just did, okay, and what might be going on because it seems like a magical concern. Um, so when you detect magic, the entryway into the magnificent mansion is no more; it has been completely dispelled. Um, give me an Arcana check to see if you can de detect any latent magic. Her ley lines with a twenty-three. Oh, nice. Um, so. Seconds, please. Uh, 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 um, a powerful spell. Yes. Of a very powerful conjuration spell. Uh, only used by the most powerful of mages. Uh, yes, it is a conjuration spell that she cast. What this is familiar to you is a teleportation spell. She has teleported to another location. Does he have an idea of how far or close? Yeah, do I have like a destination mind? Mm, Twenty-three. Here's. Mm. 
You oh. did... <laughs> What? I thought you meant a unit of distance, 23. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, 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 thinking, I'm, I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking to myself. <laughs> so here's the thing. With a 23, you can see a remnant left behind. Um, but without further study or magic or ritual, uh, you are uncertain of how to track this remnant. But so you can, if I you, focused you can, more you can, on it mm, and did like a ritual around it, to like it, focus it, more on it this. would need a it, unfortunately uh you believe uh so here's the here's the positive end from the theory craft that was spoken of by the archmagister you believe this fragment of energy um may be a ley line which means it may be tracked to actually track a ley line though requires uh you would believe a spell specifically for tracking ley lines oh. and that is something but we know that, they last a few months right uh, that is or correct. Can do. Oh, they can, and depending on well, it depends on how powerful the mage is, right. um, because the ley line kind of like dissipates over time. Hmm. So we could come back. Come back, technically. But she what? she has teleported somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Well, she looked like she was in a hurry for something. We yeah. should not trust her at all. Yeah, I don't trust her. That's why I'm trying to figure out where she vibes. went. Bad vibes. Can't take this thing out. I can feel stuff here, but I can't. I don't know what to do with it. Mm. That's exactly it. Also, mm. I've, I've DM'd you, Brett, something really quick. Oh yeah, let me uh, let me read this. Yeah, yeah, just like that. <laughs> Keep it secret, though, Brett. Keep it safe. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, I'd like it's, to think about that. It is not within the. It is not outside the realm of possibility. Awesome. Okay. Anyway, uh, this, so we can assume we had the big conversation about overtaking the government in character. Yeah, I mean you're um, still able to talk about it, but that is a yeah, yeah. event that has. Okay. Uh, all right. Should we fucking do this? You want, you want like me to go Jesus in there and uh, ask him? I mean, I could sort of, I could sort of uh, scope out. I could sort of scope out the deal. Those guards like me. Yeah, they do. Um, but when are we going to do it? I mean, it's going to take me a week to put I together mean, the papers. Look, all we it takes about a week. Or, it's going to take us a week or so to get, you know, back to the to the guy's place. That right, gives right. you time to do your thing. We could do it on the way. Yeah, you do it on the we way, but uh. Them. The only problem is that I'm checking. I I feel like I like look above board. If I spent every single one of my spell slots every day to keep you disguised Let's forever, not... I would burn before we went through 24 hours. Well, and I got another cycle. model might roll yeah. really high on disguise kit. Um, we also yeah. had the guy's clothes in the you, room. You also need to remember that you two are you two are completely different size categories, which makes things extra difficult. I brought him back, but I yeah. can only bring him back a size smaller. Sorry, guys. I'm a really good cleric, but that's <laughs> that my one amazing. fault. Dude, you know it's what's a real be, shame right now? That I burned my oh nat 20 on Portant to stop Benji from fucking poisoning his character. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Brett, do I have a... um? So I've got Poisonous Kit, I've got a Forgery Kit, and I've got my Thieves Tools. Mm -hmm. Is Disguise Kit a separate kit? That is, a, that is a separate kit. That is correct. Okay, can I say that I go around the town real quick and buy one somewhere if there, if someone would sell one even uh you are able to buy one if you wish yeah how many gold would that be uh are you gonna do anything elaborate or are you just buy the disguise nah, kit? just just buy a couple disguise kits or mm -hmm. I guess you only need one right no I need one uh the disguise okay. kit is ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da -da. excuse me all right one second I think it's 50 gold piece but let me double check 15. Yeah, so if I buy this, put together the disguise, we can. If you can convince them that I've come back small, Clint. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's uh, 20, 25 gold pieces. Okay, cheers. Got it. Cool. All right, paid. All right. Oh, so... I'll take another 25 for the other kit that I bought last time. I didn't do that before. Oh, I just assumed you had that. You're talking about the poisoner's kit? Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Are we going to do this? I can, uh, I can 
go in there and try to set up something. All right. All right. Clark's gonna start walking towards the bar. He's tell them he's. I learned a new resurrection spell. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Okay. I'm gonna already start writing like the forgery and stuff. Just gonna walk in. Just. <laughs> You knock on the door. The door opens up um, as you see the guard look forward past you and then look down. Oh, it's uh, it's you. Uh, how's it going? Boys, boys, I've got some good news. They both look at each other and look forward. You Here. see, we had a bit of a journey today and uh, our cleric might have gotten a little bit more powerful. Oh, okay. And, and we might... In what way? We might be able to save him, Clarence says with a smile. Pointing uh, to the dead body. <laughs> they look over to the uh, very dead body now that's been dead for, I think, a, a day's time. Um, and they look over at you and... <laughs> One of them just says, Bullshit. Oh, yeah? You think yeah. it's bullshit? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You've seen us Persuade fall from the sky on a giant baby, and you think we can't bring someone back to life. I just, I don't know if it's ever been done before. I mean, it was done back in the old days, but we, there hasn't been a resurrection documented since then. I'm gonna say again, we fell from the sky on an interdimensional floating baby, and we killed it. Give me and a And you're gonna say it's bullshit. Give me a persuasion check. Oh, so with a oh twenty with a twenty three, they kind of look at each other a little bit, and then they, they he looks down at you and said, "You have found a way to to, to bring him back." Yeah, it's a ritual. It's gonna take a little while, but the I other think one, the other might be able to do it. The other one steps forward and interrupts and says, "It's not gonna be like a zombie or something." Necromancy. No, is a, no. And then, so he uh, looks over and he, they pull there you There might in. be a couple inconsistencies, but he'll be him. Uh, I they, assure you of that. This guard places his hand on you and pulls you into the room. Do, do you let him do that? I'd let him. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And he closes the door. Turns over and says, uh, uh, Look, if, if you bring him back, you're... Uh, it, it, it breaks one of the purest laws of the the Ishtar kingdom. No necromancy. Resurrection Man. is a form of necromancy. It's and not necromancy is a magic. It's a it's a magic, an arcane magic. What Pekal is going to be doing is holy divine power. It's not necromancy, you see. I should know. I'm a wizard. Guards gonna point at his tall wonder. Holy shit! Guards are gonna go ahead and make their own uh, talk to myself. <laughs> uh, talk hmm. to myself. I'm gonna go ahead and make my own check of what this guard knows about magic, <laughs> and then he will look over and looks over at you and says. Hey, Okay, I mean, yeah, like that uh, different source of magic. Uh, I, I, you're right. I think necromancy's arcane, right? Right? And he looks over at the other I, guard. The other guard shrugs. He looks over at you. And so, so it's like a, a holy thing, then. It's a, a thing of exactly, righteousness. Exactly. Exactly. Clint's going to say with a big smile and nod. Uh, he's going to look over at the other person. The other guard's just going to stare at him. I mean, it can't, it can't hurt. And the guard's gonna look back at you. I mean, he he's not gonna become more dead. So I mean, sure, it's how you love. Second, we waste. It's gonna get a little bit worse. No, 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 We're no. I, out of time. I, yeah, I got you. I got you. I just if we do this though, or attempt this, success or failure, we can't tell anybody about this. Oh no, this we carry this to our graves. Do you understand? I like you two. All right, I don't want to see you two lose your jobs. All right. I mean, we're about to lose our jobs one way or another. Oh, I, you're not gonna. If he comes, you tell me when he comes back to life because you two, 
You two went through such an effort to help us learn how to bring him back. You think he's gonna, you think he's gonna fire you two after that? No, 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 he's gonna make you, he's gonna make you his number one guard. Uh, I, I, uh, and this guy's gonna be like, I mean, I'm skeptical, but man, it can't hurt as long as he doesn't turn into this, like some brainless zombie. Uh, 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 all right, I have an idea with that. I'm gonna go ahead and he's gonna draw out his great sword. If he does anything weird and turns into like a zombie and tries to go for your brains, we'll just execute him on the spot. All right, yeah. and then we can, yeah, that sounds perfect. Now, if, now, if this works, all right, this is some powerful stuff. He might end up the magical power, the holy power here. All right, going through him. Might make him a little bit shorter. All right, that's the one thing we know for sure. All right. He might be oh, a little yeah. bit short. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, the best God. we got, man. Uh, <laughs> they're going to look at each other again for this extremely odd fact. I'm gonna need another persuasion check, please. Also, we need them out of the room when we perform the well, act. We might, we're probably uh, yeah, gonna we do it over the week that we bring them back. Oh, okay, 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 perfect. Oh my God. Oh fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. 23's across the board, baby. Well, it's the, the 10 plus 13, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, technically it's 26. Bonus. Um, this guy will shrug again. It's like, I mean, it's it's your magic, so whatever whatever you think is the best, and... Yeah, like, how short are we talking about? Uh, Clint's gonna, like, put his hand around, like, his height and a little bit higher, a little bit shorter. It's a range. We won't, we won't really know. It really depends on how much his, uh... His soul fights, uh, fights the holy powers. That's gonna be pretty drastic. How are we going to explain to a kingdom that the senator has lost like a? Oh, what? you know what might be a little more drastic is trying to explain to a kingdom that the senator is dead. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, 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 I know people die all the time. It's not really that drastic. Uh, yeah. Oh God. Uh. uh. <laughs> They kind of are, uh, if they could be sweating like visibly on their helmets right now, they would. And it's, he's just going to go walk over and he's like, uh, okay, all right, what do we, hold on, come over here. Come, 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 uh. Guy's going to go over and they're just like quietly, like, huddle over talking to them. It's never been lost to me that this would all be so much easier if these two were fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, we kept them alive. <laughs> hey, hey, we we got to keep them alive. Hey, hey, can you, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Clark, sorry, man. Can you leave the room for a second? Oh, yeah, yeah, guard no problem, business. No yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, what the God. fuck are we going to do about this? I don't know. It's like, if we're coming back to life, he's going to be like a foot. I don't know. And he's like, they just start talking to each other. A few minutes. So it's gonna late. telepathy, telepathy uh, communicate to the others. I got him right where I want him. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Out of the palms of my hands. It's oh, good. My God. Um. Well, after a few minutes of time, this guard's gonna walk over, open the door, back to Clint. I'll walk out and close the door. All right. Look. Uh, no one's no one's seen him, right? We've we've kept him. Oh shit! He looks downstairs, making sure no one's hurt. He's gonna drag you over to uh, to their room, uh, to your room, real quick. Close the door. It's like okay, look, no one's seen him. So I mean, like, oh, whatever happens, happens. And that was oh, kind yeah. of a prick anyway. So uh, it might. <laughs> this might actually. This might be a wake up call for him. He might right. change his weight. Right. I don't, I don't care. What I'm saying is. <laughs> Oh my god. I more than I need to, dude. We, 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 we. <laughs> they really don't like him. So listen, listen. What, I, what I'm trying to say is we don't want to be in the room while you're doing this. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. I understand. I understand. Like, if something, and if something happens, like, you got to be the ones to take care of it. Because if he, like, comes back to life and he's, like, a maniac. Oh, trust me. We would we wouldn't dare let we wouldn't dare let something like that happen. All right, right. We'll, we'll, we'll make it clean. Can you just like <laughs> yeah, like a, like assess him a little bit because if he's like a raving maniac, like he, he's already been paraded around here dead, and then he like comes back, he's like two feet smaller, and he's a he's a zombie. I I really don't <laughs> think. 
that's gonna be a good look for Trust our me, kingdom. It's, go it's going to be fine, all right? We're professionals. We've killed gods. If we can't make this guy back up tip-top shape, no problem. Well, then I don't think we've earned our, our incredible accolades and titles now, have we? Uh, I mean... If... Okay, hold on. And he's gonna stop for a second. What? Why? What do you mean, why? But why, why are you interested in this? We're, we help people. We save the world. You think <laughs> this is just another day for us. So you're, you're just... Oh my God. You're just doing this out of the kindness of your heart. You know, a lot of people out here think they got the wrong opinion about us goblins. I really do. And I no. think that... Uh... Oh, no, no, that's not what I meant. I mean, no, I mean, like, he kind of stutters a little bit, like... You know, now feeling guilty, thinking that he was suggesting. Oh, no, no, no. I understand what you meant. Uh, all I'm trying to say is that, you know, uh, I'm just trying to, we're just trying to help everyone else understand that maybe goblins aren't as bad as uh, they all tend to believe. <laughs> this is so fucked. Give me, uh, <laughs> give me another persuasion check, please. Uh, okay. <laughs> what is happening, dude? What is what happening? Is These are technically 26s. <laughs> what yeah. the God. fuck? 1d20, 0d0 plus 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, because 10 base always, and then yeah. 13 charisma. So you're not actually getting... Oh, yeah, no, these are 23 roll. cent. It's rounding up. Oh, it's rounding up, or... yeah. Yeah, this is if you roll below the, the 10, it'll give Which, you an order. Right, so it's always forcing me to it, I guess. Yeah. There's yeah, no way yeah, yeah. Because you're rolling below 10s times. each time. Okay, 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 okay. So, so I actually, I actually, I actually have the, uh, the, 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 the rolls for you. Uh, you rolled a four the first time, a four the second time, and this time yeah. was your first actual 10. No. Nice. <laughs> Amazing. So, so he'll, uh, once again, look over at you and he'll give a nod and say, I, know, I mean, hey, you're, 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 you're so cool. Like, all right, that's, that's all right. Um, yeah, we'll just, again, we really, we really don't want to be a witness uh, of any of this. So we're going to go outside, investigate a disturbance or something. And if something happens, like, we're going to need to cover this up. Like, uh, necromancers in town. Or we could go ahead and, like, frame someone if that'll make it easier. But, uh... Yeah, I... Look, what are we going to tell the town, though? They all saw him die. He got knocked unconscious, and we needed to make sure he was all right. And we put, like, a, a death shroud around him, though? We had a nasty gash. People get a little queasy around blood. They're already saying around town that he's dead, so we're just gonna, what, like, fix that, I guess? Like, tell them now he's good? Who's gonna... It's a bunch of random townspeople. They'd no, spread right, rumors right. no matter what anyway. No, you're right, you're right. It's gonna just be strange if he's, like, three feet smaller than he used to be. Oh, okay, you know what? It's, uh... <laughs> Hell, at this he point, always wore big shoes and no one noticed. That's a good backup. Okay, all right. I mean, I guess we could fix the shoes. Okay, yeah. Uh, sounds good. Uh, bring your miracle worker in there, and then uh, yeah. Well, we, we don't want to be in the room for it. I, I think. We'll find you guys. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You have to understand something, buddy. Buddy, you gotta understand I, something. I bet, I bet. We were so close to being done with this shit, and you're literally telling us we're gonna have to get back to work. If he gets back to life, you understand what that means? I mean, it's like, but think know, about, think about the job opportunities. Look, think about how much farther you two could go. How much farther we could do for no one's going to know. What do you mean? You think he's not going to know that you two put in so much effort to help bring him back from the dead. Something no one's ever done before. We'll vouch for you. Oh, like you, th you, th you, th you think, you think he's, you think he's gonna, yeah, well, I mean, Maybe, I guess. I mean, I don't know if he'll be too happy about shrinking like four feet, but, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, it sounds good. Let's, uh, uh, yeah, you know, let's, uh, let's do it. Let's, let's see what happens. <laughs> Pass okay, you on the back. At this point, if we just told them the actual plan, they'd Yeah, they, they seem kind of cool, honestly. Yeah. Uh, uh, you give yeah. them jobs that they want. And... <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's, be, uh, let's keep my arms length for now, dude. Let's yeah, yeah we'll see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, uh, he, I, 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 I spoke with them. He, he gets it. And he nods a little bit and says, "All right, well, we gotta go investigate a thing, citizen. So uh, I'm gonna need you to stand aside, uh, clerk, uh, hero of the realm of Brisbane." Of course, we have, of course. We have a request uh, for for you. It is a 
It is an honorable request. We need you to guard. We need you to guard the body. This is something that's completely uh, something we would normally not ask. But you, being the hero of Brisbane, uh, hell, probably Vio itself, conquering giant corpses falling from the sky, is a simple task. But we ask that you protect the remains of the of the senator. Do you think you could do that, Clark? Would be my honor. And I know, you know, after all this time, I don't think I've ever learned your name. What is it? I was gonna I say. Huh. He looks, he looks, they both look at each other. I could have, could have sworn we, we gave you the name, right? No, gave, I don't think you actually did. I'm pretty sure I gave you the name. Because now I'm just going to have to, hold on a second. He, uh, checks you his, see, the secret thing is that Brett doesn't even remember the fucking name. Of course, course I don't. Pull it up. I, of course I don't remember the name. That's why I got to fucking look it up. <laughs> These two are going to become consistent characters now. We got to get their names. <laughs> yeah, we like them, Brett. We yeah, yeah, yeah. like them. So. I, I've, uh, I've... We're expanding the party to two fucking normal yeah. cards. All right, hold on. I literally I, for a while. I wrote the name down. That's the worst part. Where the <laughs> fuck did I write the name down, dude? I'm gonna have to like actually refer back to the previous spot of where I put their names. You could just say they tell you their name, but then find it. From I, the I'm, ab I'm, ab I'm about to. I'm like I'm seriously about to, but I'm just seeing if I didn't actually record it somewhere. Oh. Not it's the chat. It's not being stinky. Okay, relax. I think, he told us, I think they told us um as we left the Hydra fight, but I can't fucking remember. No, no, no. Yeah, they they, they absolutely they absolutely told they did, the names, yeah. and I and I could have sworn I recorded it. His basic guys, ass names too. You guys fucking post so much so much shit uh okay it would be after that hold on uh holding lemons okay yeah they they, they uh they give you their names they, they blah the names at you no i know for a fact i wrote the names but yeah they, they they give you the they give you the names at that point oh wait hold on i think i'm i'm feeling good about this uh uh-huh uh. doing one final check it would have been around here. Ash. Guard. Guard one, guard two. You know, more I'm than likely, more, more than likely, what happens is I put it on a dock, which was the stupidest. Well, we can just retcon well, the names well, and change them. Well, we'll, yeah, we'll figure it out. But yeah, they give you, they give you the names. No they give you, Hell they yeah. give you the names. Yeah, I don't want to give you two different names and then have to go back. So yeah, they give you the names at that point. <laughs> Steve. How's it going, Clint? I'm telepathy. <laughs> We're almost ready. Give me another sec. Yes. Uh, you do. Uh, I will happily. Uh, I will do this for you, of course. Absolutely. Hey. Well. Uh, thank you. We'll be back in. Uh... He stares at you, waiting for a time of the ritual. How long do you think? Hey, hey, you guys, guys. How long do you think we need to get this all sorted out? Twenty minutes. Like, like, like a week. Okay, we don't have a week. What, the faster <laughs> one. I can disguise you in like fucking in like twelve oh, minutes. Mean, I can disguise you in like, uh, yeah, yeah. Instantly. Let's say an hour. I'm gonna say an hour. We'll need an about hour an hour. Uh, okay, it sounds good. We're gonna go ahead and look at that thing. Uh, thank you, Clark, uh, Savior of the Land. No protect, problem. You do the, the senator's Stay body out there. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna get some coffee. You have a good one, okay? <laughs> Yeah, yeah you guys do. How are we gonna do with the body? <laughs> uh, listen, that's, okay, we need to like in the bag of holding. Problem. Hold right. on. <laughs> the bag in the bag of holding. Hold. <laughs> <laughs> Is it five foot by five foot by five foot? <laughs> Wait, what are you? What are you? What are you talking? We're gonna you... stuff his body. Can we put the body in the back of holding? Yes, oh absolutely. His, 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 oh his body, God. his body, his body is now an object. You can absolutely yes, put it in the yes. bag of holding. Don't come in I moved in the room. I mean, honestly, yeah. you could you could put anyone in a bag oh of holding. God. There's uh, there's Holy oxi fuck. there's oxygen yeah. like in the bag of holding. Oxygen? Yeah, there's oxygen yeah. in the bag of holding. Holy, yeah. but not infinite. Yeah. Oh no, not infinite. No. Yeah. Holy All right. Well, I told yeah. them we're about to, I told him this is gonna take an hour. Okay. okay. What we're about to commit here is great sacrilege. Okay. Eh. I mean, guys, I'm gonna be honest. Looks at those two guards. Those two guards yeah. hate. Those two guards hate this guy. Yeah. I, I mean, think everyone hates this guy. We might be doing the. We might be doing the country a favor. It's gonna be pretty fucking. Yeah. Obviously, we always do. But I, it's gonna be pretty fucking hard then if everyone hates him to use him. Wait, I have a question because yeah. I think this is sort of relevant because yeah. model, how does your assassination like identification stuff work? Is it exclusively okay. you can make stuff for your character? Uh, 
e oh, hold on. Like, I just um, need to. I just want to know if like it yeah, is it's necessary for that you be it's the only disguise. For myself. Okay, I just want to make sure. Like, however, you are I can make a disguise, disguise, a temporary disguise for now. That's just a disguise mm -hmm. using a disguise kit. Um, I was thinking like stilts the feet, take his clothes and stuff like that, yeah. and just use a temporary disguise underneath the illusion. Because obviously, when they touch the illusion, we want it to have physical Match stuff up. there. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. want it to be to okay. an extent. Yeah, All right. we could do that for now. That's temporary. Okay. That's one. I just want to make sure, like, if you were locked in, it's like it must always be model, or if like model's not there, if we can technically disguise a fucking well, filler character. Yeah, it, it has to, to be, be him. Yeah, it has to be me for the for the. The to work for the documents yeah. and like okay. the convincing and the believing side of it yeah but all right outside of that we could probably set up a proxy oh, how, <laughs> good is, how good is models above board persuasion not the best deceptions like a plus four persuasion is plus Can we zero. like rp no that he doesn't He's trying to, no, no, no. He doesn't the, well, talk quite so much. Anymore. Yeah, you, you have to. I, 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 dude, my neck's been slashed or whatever. Whatever hit him, right? He can't talk for now after just being resurrected. He, he, needs, an interpreter. he, needs, an interpreter. he needs an interpreter. He needs an interpreter. He needs an interpreter. He needs an interpreter, and Clark will be that interpreter. Yes. Oh my god! Um, but after the week, people will believe me. Yeah, unless yeah, they yeah, have yeah. a really good reason not to. All right, perfect. Sounds good. We have, we have <laughs> so our game plan. All right. Oh All right. my god. P. Keller. Yes. You got the bag. He's got the bag. She Do, is the, the, bag. Is the clothes covered in blood? <laughs> I'm gonna start I mean, it, 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 it reeks. You're literally looking at a, at a, at a day old corpse at this point in time. <gasps> okay, I undress him. Right. <laughs> uh, as oh, you God. as you undress him, you see the, the giant pelts of rocks uh, that is ingrained into his chest and the side of his head. Um, Good shot, Skagzag. <laughs> Poison's wearing off. I forgot we killed him. <laughs> uh, uh, as yeah. he, we knew that we talked about this eventually. We being set what this up. We, yeah, we, did, uh, we did. As as oh you as you disrobe him, uh, I'm going to roll uh, dispense him rather. I'm going to roll a random number. Uh, take that as you will. Uh, just a random number. Nothing okay. to worry about there. And uh, uh, right. Uh, all right. Mm. Hang on. Is there a smell? Okay. Oh yeah, he's emanating from his pants coming off. Is it getting worse now? The smell. <laughs> I mean, he shit himself. <laughs> I'm going to cast prestidigitation to try. Yeah. To there you go. Yeah. And at that yeah. point in time, yeah. for it. you've been learned. Yes. You, uh, you recalled exactly what happened with the Arch Magister as she was able to clean the vomit from herself with prestidigation, and you realize this is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna go and flip a coin. Yes, a hundred percent. It's getting worse as you pull up the pants. Okay, uh, yeah, so I try to. I, bl I yeah, use right, the. Right. Uh, I use the stealth to try to see s smells from leaving the room. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, wait. You you actually clean the clothes with it? Uh, no, I'm just the stopping odors from fucking emanating out of the room. Can you use us... pressed digitation to just remove dirt? It's not um, permanent. Yeah. It's an hour of. Odor. Oh wait, really? Yeah, I think it lasts oh. for an hour. Wait, what are you talking oh. about? Press the digitation. Can you use it to clean things properly? I thought yeah. you could actually just make them well, clean. From what yeah. it says here, you create an instantaneous, harmful sensory, harmless sensory effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that uh, you the... can you can create stuff, but you can't like cancel stuff out. From what I gather. No, so you can you can clean. You can literally use it to clean shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'd clean it instead. Yeah, Let's they're taught the the uh, the the uh, hour the or the time. Ones. That's yeah. literally that's li that's literally for the sensory effects that linger okay, there for right. now. Yeah. It cool. literally says right, clean no soil. Shit. It is okay, soil. then I'm, yeah, I'm gonna exactly. get rid of the smells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the shit, please. I'm not putting this on without the shit. All right, all right, calm down. <laughs> Holding shitty underwear. Gonna, it's gonna clean the clothes. How's it going with getting this guy into the bag? Into the bag, all right. All right, okay. stuff in the bag. Jeez, I'm gonna need your help. Get, get, get over here. It's still okay. weak, all right? I just vomited like six times today, and I'm just gonna now vomit anymore. Vomit in the bag. He's very strong as well. I don't have to vomit anymore. Uh, you uh, see this in Skagzag? And I drag Skagzag by his foot. Get that <laughs> Come on, you guys. The, uh, the bloated body, uh, slowly filling with gas over the past 24 hours. You begin to, oh, no. you begin to oh, pull. You begin to to, 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 to try and pull uh, into oh, the bag god. of holding. Oh god! Don't Can worry, this happened to Chief Big Belly all the time. Uh, what are you? stomps on his gut and trying to make him fart. Oh, oh god! No. You Goomba stomp oh his tummy. God. Yeah, he stomps his tummy, oh, trying to get him to fart. No, I was right. perceptioning his face and his features and everything uh -huh. like that. Wait. 
<laughs> his arm is stifled cast because he's facing up. Fucking digitation again. <laughs> <laughs> to start getting rid of more of the bad fucking shit. That Does someone have to roll constitution going. saving throw, Brett, for that? For like the brief second that we smelled that? Uh, whoever, whoever is the closest to the oh, uh, robotics, yeah, exactly. Needs to Which roll would uh, look like Pekel here. Like pickle. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, Nat twenty. All right, you're good. Ooh. Flowers. Good Strong uh, stomach. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You handle it easily. Um, he deflates He's a little bit. Off. He deflates. Oh, done. Not right, as bloated. Into the bag, guys. He gonna fit? Yeah, he'll fit now. He's got a smaller tummy. As you, uh, well, he Shut he already he was he was already fitting. It's just he was just a bloated oh, no, body. No, it's I'm, yeah. I'm validating Cheezle because not all, all likes Cheezle. Right. And and suddenly there he goes, going into the bag. He's going. Oh my god! You begin to yes. slowly push him into the bag. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. You I shove him in the bag. Come on! The bag inherits the weight of whatever's uh. in it, right? No. Or does it? Does no, it? It does not It's a pocket dimension. It's a pocket dimension. It's a pocket dimension. It's five by five. Yeah. Only, five, five, yeah. five yeah, it only hurt. Yeah, it only hurt. Holds a certain amount, but it, does, okay. it doesn't change the weight of the bag. Yeah. We'll just However, dump his body somewhere at some point. We're gonna have like, to remember to get rid of that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We could fucking uh, like stuff someone's head into the into the bag so they can see a dead body if we want to like convince them that we're not to be fucked with. Or we could even just stuff <laughs> I mean, it like a live person in there. I think it's pretty convincing that we're not to be fucked with. Already, I don't think we need a body oh, to do that. Fuck. Not all of us have 23 minimum persuasion checks, all right? <laughs> Dude, you know, a lot, like, I fucking, we never got any chances for me to do my persuasion shit in no, Cosmo. Now you've, now you've got it's plenty. It's nice to finally be free. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um. So the body's in there. Yep. I'm going to start got, fashioning a disguise. Clothes. Yeah. Out of the disguise. Out of that. And then I'll, I guess I'll break off two chair legs and use them for stilts for, like, the extra foot. Yes. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> don't don't uh, use don't yeah. use the don't use the chairs in here. They're gonna come back in here. <laughs> uh, chuck the chair in the bag of holding. The rest <laughs> oh of the chair. We're just gonna walk into the <laughs> other room and pull one of the chairs from our room into <laughs> this one go. and replace yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then we put that one in the bag of holding with him. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, Fred, do I have a disguise kit in my in my inventory? I don't see it. Uh, you oh you purchased one. Uh, oh you mean yeah. that? I can I can add it for you. Sure. Add thing. it real quick. Cheers. Yeah sure. Cheers mate. Cheers mate. Cheers mate. Bloody hell! What the fuck are we doing, guys? <laughs> this so might be. Bad. This feels like classic goblins. I'm yeah, just. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm back in our element. I was like, I'm, 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 old, I'm like, just the I'm just show. the storyteller. You do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> All right, disguise kits in your inventory. Feel free to refresh. It's in your backpack. Okay, inventory. Gotcha. Uh, tool. Ernst's going to. Uh, I mean, I don't. I don't know. Did we? I guess the guards think it's like a big flashy event that we're doing in here. But I guess I established with the guards we don't want it to be looking like there's magic going on in this room. So I, I thought about maybe for a second casting some stuff like lights at the door and stuff and the windows. They but, uh, really didn't seem to go into exactly what the visual thing is, but secrecy is very important in case this yeah, is completely I think we botched stick up. With secrecy, yeah. Because this is. Uh, they are already hesitant because this sounds like borderline necromancy, and that is a big no-no in the kingdom of Ishtar. Can I try to assist a uh, model with his disguise kit check? Oh, uh, how would you assist me? No, because I. Wait, what was your lowest? Ro what was your roll? What'd you get? I got sixteen. Yeah, but what was like the actual roll without plus is seven? Oh, it was. Yeah. One, yeah, it was like five. Okay, I'm gonna oh, roll yeah. seven. That, yeah, I'm gonna port that to a nine to get you an eighteen instead. All right, now I have an eighteen. Oh, cool. Um, nice. The so the only reason why I say new is because you have to. I, I would I would say you have to be proficient in the disguise kit okay. to do that. Oh right, yeah, okay. it does require proficiency. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Listen, right. I'm standing on, I have two chair legs that I snapped off and I'm tying them with string and rope and stuff to the bottoms of my feet. Um, and I maybe put a little bit of soft padding underneath or something like that so it doesn't sound like peg legs when I walk. <laughs> oh my God. Um, just to really add to that disguise. That's an 18 kind of thing you do. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Um, and then any of the clothing that I can get um, half tempted to cut off his mustache like I did in the past, but I, oh I, I hold God. my hand, I stay my hand. 
And, uh, and yeah, any can, jewelry, anything. You can use my hair. We can cut off the end of my hair. To make uh, hair on my head. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, we need, yeah, yeah, we yeah. need someone to be able to feel hair on my head. Yeah, Pikel's got hair let down to her legs. Don't have a wig. <laughs> it's just cut some braid hair off. It's new hair cut. He, he kills Big butter hair. immediately immediately cuts hair off the bottom of her hair. <laughs> Perfect. On one side. Oh my equal. god. Uh, hi, uh, Bri. I'm gonna need new art for that. That's Thank you very fine. much. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Honestly, Bri, have you ha literally down to her fucking feet? So, Bri, have yeah. you ever considered? I mean, obviously, I don't want to put more work on you. Have you ever considered up updating uh, PKL's art because of the armor? Yeah, I need to. <laughs> I need that would to. Be cute. All yeah. right, I need um, I need to put some. What do I have to fucking stick? I've got. I guess I've got oil. I could put oil on my head. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's this is all from this is no. all issued. Your in the, disguise in, kit probably has. My yeah, disguise kit has some oil in it. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, this oh. is all this <laughs> is all <laughs> issued in the disguise kit. Okay, sweet. Okay, I stick pickles, bangs, or whatever to my fucking head. <laughs> Make it look wig. convincing. It, it doesn't need to look convincing. It needs to feel. Look, convincing. you're him. Look at it. you're him. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Brett. Oh my god. <laughs> It right, is convincing. God, we, I'm we like are a, good at this. I'm a four foot version of him. Is Kendall his voice? I don't yeah, really model, remember how he voice. sounds. Hello, I'm uh, Regal all right, and so, very rich. All right, that's not very convincing. We're gonna go with the other plan, all right? No, you no, have no. A, my, my throat's lacerated. Of course, yeah, it's your throat. You, 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 it's gonna take you a little while. You, you've yeah, been yeah, out yeah. of the game for a couple of days. Your soul's been wandering. Now you're suddenly thrown back into your body. Mm. I'll handle the talking. I need now, an interpreter right? for now. Yeah. I'll be your interpreter. Okay. You just do body language. That's right. And keep that charismatic smile locked down. All right. I wink. Yeah. Just like that. Is it a He's good wink or is it like an believable. awkward, like no, uncomfortable I'm wink? I'm trying to wink, but I've got like you know a bit of the the hair glue dripping down into my eye, and I'm just. <laughs> ah, ah. It's not He's a pretty that'll, wink. That'll that'll do. Look, He's if it gets bad, all right. If it gets real bad out there, I'll just charm the two of them, and we can dispose of them in the woods. Sure. Or in the bag of holding. In just the shove them in there. Oh God. All right, gang. Are you ready for this? He's trying to to walk like human. Easy. I walk like I'm standing on peg legs. <laughs> Listen, I didn't come back perfect. Okay. Look, we'll just tell him that it takes a week for you to get your bodily self. Cast disguise self. Wait, you've cast disguise self, right? Uh, I didn't think we need to. We need to. You established that we didn't need to. No, I used my disguise, disguise kit just to make me feel like him and be the right size, so that when they touch through the disguise. They can feel me, and it's not going to just be an illusion. And then it's okay, obvious I can to cast it up. right now. Yeah, you need to cast but, like, it. But like, the issue is that we will have it after an hour. I will have yes, to. Yes, we are going to get a and carriage, and we are going to let me be in the carriage, and them not in the carriage. They will be okay, outside. Okay, I'm going to cast disguise self on model yep. to make him look exactly like okay. the guy would look, but at the height of model. <laughs> well, yeah, here, full yeah, like plus at the height of the guy at the disguise with the stuff right. that he's currently. Right. I was going to say, just so you know, disguise kits don't uh, increase size. It just makes you look like the person. So um, that's true. Well, I've got a doubly convincing disguise. disguise going on. Right, I'm standing on right. stilts. Yeah, okay. he's got stilts. Ah, I, like, I, I see. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, the pants I'm are covering the stilts. Perfect. And the boots and... uh, okay. Uh, give, <laughs> just give me a uh, give me a simple acrobatics check, just so you're able to handle the stilts. Acrobatics. Hell yeah. It's good, dude. Hey, Beautiful. you're doing good. You stand I, up easy I'm with the stilts. Guy. Yeah. So with the stilts, they definitely give you the height that you're looking for. Uh, you're gonna need to go ahead whenever you're walking. Um, um, I might ask for an acrobatics check from time to time. Uh, well, I could also like help him, like you know, if he's if he's a little unsteady from being brought back. I mean, it would make sense if Clark's already interpreting. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But like, just sort of give him his shoulder, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. I can hold on to your giant bag of instruments because that's yeah. like six feet tall. Absolutely. Yeah. Like where your guy's head's at. Uh, <laughs> Skagzag, you're laying on top of the stairs for some reason, and uh, these two guards yeah. will walk up. Uh, hey, uh, how's it going? Uh, uh, I'm feeling better, but you know. All right, we're just going to step over you. I hope that's all right. And Don't let them do that to you. <laughs> um, I'm still recovering too much to care. <laughs> the door knocks. Uh, yes, so close. Oh, we have we have come back to 
Handle what needs what we we're here to handle. Game time, everyone. You ready? Lauren's gonna look at models. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. All right, Gikel, I need you to make it look like you're exhausted. All right. Okay, she's gonna dunk her head in the pickle jar and pull out. Oh. <laughs> I'd sweat. Oh, no. briny, gonna walk over. briny hair. Oh, oh. It took a lot of doing, but I think you guys are gonna like what you see. Oh. It's gonna open the door. All right, I need a deception check from Pikel. Okay. Um. Twenty-two. Oh, oh damn, that's good. <laughs> Uh, they believe you're exhausted as it looks over. Um, they stand back a little bit. Go ahead and make a roll. He did everything in my power. He's still kind of short. I'm sorry. <laughs> what's, uh -oh. the, what's the height discrepancy here? Uh oh. Oh god, is that insight? <laughs> Why do I have a plus six? <laughs> uh, no, it's not insight. It's a uh, oh, per god. perception for the disguise. Um, oh. So. He's gonna walk up and look at him. And well, look over. the disguise is only to make me feel that way. They yeah. aren't looking at me. They're looking whoa, at. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh yeah, they're Did looking at perception? literally him. Disguise, disguise self is on an investigation check. Oh, my apologies. There In you go. Case. Oh, okay, but they right. have to. They have to think to All investigate right. it, right? right? I guess I'm, they might do that. I mean, hell yeah! They just, you just said, yeah, we brought some back to life. They're absolutely gonna investigate. Telepathy. Try to keep them away from me. Holy fuck. Okay, oh, just, allow, allow me, allow me to reroll. Yes, my there God. Go. <laughs> uh, my Lord, how how are you feeling? <laughs> he, 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 he is he is a little bit out of it right now. His soul is uh is a little shaky. If you need to mean. give him space, you need to step back, please. As the body must like, breathe. As, he's gonna as, hold his, his brow His bodily breath. functions are gonna come back to him over the next week. As, he, as they hear the groan, you hear one of them begin to pull the greatsword. Whoa, Ooh. calm down. Calm down. Give him that smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. so, I'm gonna like clutch my brow and turn around and look like, you know, concerned. Um, and then I'm gonna open a big Cheshire cat wide smile as best as I can and do one thumb up. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Clark, can we talk to you outside here for a second? Sure, no problem. Clark's gonna walk back into the, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> the, the goblin's room. No, what the fuck are we supposed to do with that? Listen, it takes a little bit of time in situations like this for the person to get used to being back from the dead. All right? It's a real bit of whiplash there. He's not going to be able to talk perfectly for a couple of days. But after that, you aren't going to be able to tell a difference. It's going to take a couple of days for him to get back. All right? But it would be in our best interest to get a carriage so he can, you know, rest and take it easy on that ride back. Is he going to, yeah, but is he going to, like, get back to normal? Also, he's... Tiny, what are we gonna do about he's, that? I, he's a little bit shorter. Put him on some platform shoes. Uh, all right, don't let it keep him in a chair at all times and block his legs so no one can see them. He's shaking his head. He's like, <laughs> I'm I don't know. Farquad vibes. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, Claren, Claren, I don't know. I'm getting some real doubts about this. I don't, I'm not feeling really good about this. This kingdom. Listen, it's going to be fine. All right, you gotta believe me. We've dealt with far worse situations than this. I would say this is an overall net positive I compared to where you were think, before. Oh, I don't... Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what to expect, but I... I do not expect him to actually come back to life. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be real with we you. We have a lot of power. We're very powerful. And, you know, I'm sure that... And I can assure you that over the next couple days... He's gonna get better and better. Amen. Um, All right. What's up? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I no, like hearing continue. you in the fucking. I'm, I'm trying to like. Yeah. Well, not. I'm behind you. I'm trying to like. You know. Look. 
look pleased and happy and sweet and kind. <laughs> I'm going to be like staring at them and smiling and nodding along. You know, open no. palms kind of stuff. Uh -huh. Just to be sure, this. you need a weak model to get convincing with the voice and everything so that it's like bulletproof, right? You oh, yeah. No, no. Here. I'm just trying to seem like I've come back better okay. a little bit. Hey, Not a zombie. He... They walk, they, uh, the guard walks out. He closes the door. He walks back in with the other guard, kind of like walking past Clarence. And it's been like, what the fuck is wrong with him? He's, I mean, from what we've been able to gather, he's happy to be alive, for one. Yeah, but like... I don't know if you've noticed how much he's smiling. Yeah, a little too, a little too much, Clarence. That's the problem. Have, have either of you died before? No, but what? Uh. And this guy's gonna be like, what if he brought something back with him? You two are worried that he brought some kind of dark power back with him? Really? I don't, I don't know what to be worried about. He, 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 how is he Listen, alive? You, uh, you two have seen the stuff that we're capable of. Yeah. And you really think we aren't able to professionally handle this? Uh, Even I, now, after I, we've brought him back from the dead. I, I, I just, I didn't. I didn't think he'd come back. I didn't think he'd come back. Look, look, you gotta start believing in us more. We're capable of all sorts of things. Look, Brett. all you two gotta worry about now is getting us a carriage so we can bring him back home somewhere he's comfortable and can rest. All right, keep the public eyes out of the way for about a week while he gets better. Pico's gonna be on the job 24 seven, making sure he gets back <laughs> in tip top shape. Okay, all right. Well, can we, can we have some, time uh, alone with the senator oh my fucking oh, god yeah sure of course of course all right model they want time alone with you fuck? what the fuck are you doing model i have a plan i'm gonna go i how, how much time are you gonna need uh because we do want to get moving so it's gonna uh uh what ask. are you what what the, i see the senator's moving around what are you doing uh oh i was just skipping around like happily and like you know <laughs> like i'm i'm throwing feathers yeah. out from the uh, pillow so <laughs> they oh, so they they God. they uh open the door and they just kind of like slowly begin to to walk in um they're like uh first of all uh uh madam Pickel, uh thank you very much we uh He's it's no problem. He's tried my best. He's, he's her over her. You're not very happy with his size. It's no, not... no, it's, it's, I mean, it's, uh, it, what you performed was a, a miracle. It's, uh, uh an absolute miracle. We were hoping to have some time alone with the senator, though. Oh, it's, it's kind of dangerous to do, you see. Is need healer nearby in case he starts no, having no. a gene from throat, okay? So you, I you will could, stay very close. Yeah, just like outside the door. Uh, okay. That's fine. That that works. Okay. And we'll, we'll shout Listen, if anything how, how happens. How much time are you two going to need here? Because we do want to get moving. Uh, they kind of look at each other, and this one's just going to, like, groan a little bit. Five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. Five minutes should be good. All right, no problem. Clarence gonna check. Is there like a window into the room? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a back window, right? Oh. All right. Yeah, I ain't leaving this room. I Hello. can barely walk. Well, I'll Clarence be. Uh, I'll be. High. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be on outside. All right. You guys yeah, just no, have, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Feel free. Let feel me free. know when. Uh, whenever you're. Whenever you're uh, ready, I'm gonna be doing my thing. Clarence gonna uh, point at his instruments with a big smile. Uh, uh Clarence, do you leave? Or not, Clarence. Um, uh, Cheezel, you leave the room. No. He looks, they look at you <laughs> and are like, the, the, the room, please. Uh, Clark's gonna head right here. Okay. They're looking oh, at yeah. Cheezel right now to leave the room. Is everyone else left the room? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Pikel's gonna stay right outside the door. Cheezel, like, gets up real close to the, to the knights, to the guards, and says, How you feel about government? Fine. We 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 are at, at its service and and at its convenience. Who you uh, who you serve? Uh, they point at the senator. Two thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, Cheezel like looks and he's like slowly starting to understand. And he's like, Stankies! and walks out of the room. Can I? Plans are formulated. 
dark plan. <laughs> Can I try to sneakily cast Bless on Model from behind yeah, the door? I, just it's, so uh, <laughs> you guys are also aware, yeah. I am going to be outside playing my instruments to Bardic Inspiration Model from outside. <laughs> <laughs> Telepathy, help me, give me everything. Model, I'm good at model, I gotta play it, alright? Help right? me! He's, he's, he's all right. outside with me now! Alright, so you have the, uh, the Bless spell. Yeah. And the Inspiration. Okay. Yes, I am going to be given... I'm going to be playing outside the window. All right. So the door closes. They kind of guide What's you back. What's Skagzag doing? He's Did Skagzag leave? Yes. Yeah, Skag, I mean, he's he's in another. He's on like the stairway over here. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm on the stairs. I'm just going to telepathy to Cheezle. Cheezle, you need to come out here with me. I need your help. Okay. Cheezle grabs Skagzag's leg and pulls him down the stairs. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I'm going to bite him. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Uh, I slap, I, I slap it wherever he is. Uh, yeah, feel free to do an unarmed strike as you bite him. You miss. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah. So, uh, model, they kind of guide you back to the to the bed that you were just laying in. Oh my god. Yeah. And just have you sit down. My and, my the back of my palm is to my forehead like constantly, and my hands are just flowing around. You know, very uh, very much like I'm weary. Um. They turn around, uh, their back facing to you. They begin to, like, they kind of move over to the door and they, they're they they're whispering to each other. Jeezel. How, Brett, how high is it? Like, they're on the second floor, right? Yeah, they're how, on the second like, the floor. Like, the window, is there, like, an easy way to climb up to the window? Uh, you have to go ahead and get a climbing kit, um, or try and scale up the side of the wall. Okay. Uh, Jeezel. All right. I need you to distract that guy for me. Corn's gonna point at that guy. Okay. She just walks over. Excuse me. Uh, what uh, you uh, know of government? How could I help uh, the government? Well, I mean, it's okay. We pay taxes. They go ahead and protect us and guard us from all the baddies that are out there. I mean, it's whatever. What is taxes? Well, taxes is something <laughs> that goes ahead and keeps the government working and functioning over here and makes sure that we're protected from the people. On and, the and, the, and the people themselves are real good and the government does what it has to do. I want to go what ahead. What is taxes? How you doing the taxes? Uh, you go ahead and pay the money over to your local tax collector. And they go ahead and hand it over to your official. The senator's got rest his soul. Why not taxes? carefully climbing quietly while greater invisible up uh, to the fucking at, at window the, at Jesus the files at uh, fucking at, 1040 at the, uh, so while you're doing that give me an athletics or acrobatics check to scale up the wall um, while you're while all that is happening uh, model you hear one of the guards say okay. I, don't, I don't think it was gonna work I, well, you, I told you what you were gonna have to do for some reason it did very well uh, can Senator. I hear this? I'm right at the, hold on, I'm right at the door. Can I hear I mean, this? I mean, they're whispering it to themselves right now, so you wouldn't be okay. able to hear it through the door. Um, okay. Um, all right, uh, Senator, uh, we understand you, 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 uh, you're in a lot of pain right now, and honestly, we should have messed with this, so uh, we're going to need you to hold real still. Uh, they both draw their I'm great gonna... swords. I'm before, before, well, while they're drawing, I take out 15 gold in each hand, and I drop it. Well, I hold it out towards them. 15 gold each hand. Uh, they're looking at the 15 gold, and it's like, oh, God, uh, something's wrong with them. Yeah, all right. And they raise the great swords. Uh, Clurt, at this point, you are at the window, greater visibility. You've witnessed the guards holding their great swords as if they appear to be about to execute the senator. Model, you got a plan here? I can fucking disengage, or we can mark them. Uh, what do you think your odds are of being able to dodge two average guards? Uh, pretty good. I have, I mean, I could, I, I could knock them both out with sleep. <laughs> oh, sh you should <laughs> from the window. I could do uh, a sleep no, you know what? from the window. I'm going to say, I'm going to telepathy. Everyone burst in now. Okay. Catch like, them in the act. Uh, Stop them before. Right. I've, I'm right. now energized at the thought of killing humans. <laughs> We're not going really to kill them. <laughs> oh, boy. Burst in the door. Burst in the door. Go, go, go. I run okay. up the stairs. Can we bash in the door? 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're free to not knock down I'm the door. I'm gonna stumble through, through the window. The no, we, we want to bash <laughs> through the door. I want to bash through the door. <laughs> All right, you both at this point break through the easy, weak door, and they look over, Perfect. holding their swords, like, ah, that's not what it looks I, like. Mark falls through the window. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> you dare take his gift of life away from him? It lost it and he's not gonna get, get out here. Why is there money on the ground? He's trying to pay you to it. You tried to kill him. The guard, the guard, uh, pulls in Skagzag and, and and tries to like shut the door, covering the door with like the broken door. And he's like, he can't be alive. Look, we made a mistake, okay? We don't want to, he, there's something definitely wrong with him. We, he, he, he should not be alive. We're sorry we even I put you in this. you to? It's going to take a week for him to get better. You're not even giving the poor guy a chance. We don't <laughs> trust it. Look at him. He's like two feet Can tall. Oh, listen, all right? We get him in the carriage. We start taking him back to his castle. And if he's not good, by a week from now, we'll help you get rid of the poor bastard, all right? <laughs> but if you get rid of him now, you wasted all of Pete Gale's hard work. <laughs> Literally breaking the laws of life and death. Do you understand me? Oh, we should have agreed to this. We should have agreed to this. I just want to take hey, it back. No, you I just want to take it back. Ah! I, uh, I jump on the guy's back oh. and start trying to bash his head with my All fist. All right, cast uh, max level sleep on Skagzag. Uh, right now. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Can I resist the sleep? Well, we're about to find out. Hang on, that's going to be 5d8, and it's going to be at the uh, sixth level. So, uh. <laughs> that's 11d8. That's 11d8. Right. <laughs> that's possible. It might All get right. him. Uh, it might not. Um, uh, 64. It won't. <laughs> it's not enough to get him asleep. Stack, <laughs> throw him oh, out of the oh, room. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, I actually need an additional 68. It's actually additional 2d8 per level. Uh, so uh, actually, it's supposed to be an 18d8. So roll 68, please. Okay. Oh, my <laughs> God. Uh, with an 80, that is not enough. He is still awake. Oh, oh, my <laughs> oh no, God. it's 81. It's 81 no, exactly. No, it's, it's, it's 81, 81 exactly. It's Holy 81 shit. exactly. Clint's going to pick up Skagzag and throw him out the window. <laughs> no, I'm already... Oh I'm so, I want to be grabbed onto his, hel like his head or helmet. I don't know what he's got. Huh? Uh, go ahead and do the uh, unarmed attack uh, since you did that first. And then right, uh, nice. Skagzag... Uh, Skag Zag, that's, that's a four. You exactly. don't break through the helmet, and then you fall asleep, grabbed on. The guard himself is panicking, trying to reach at whatever the fuck is on his back right now. He's lo losing his mind right now. Uh, we should have agreed to this. We should have agreed to this. We should have agreed to this. I'm just gonna pull him off of him. All right. Uh huh. And then, do I have any? Do I have any ropes? <laughs> <laughs> I need something to bind Skagzag before I throw him out the window. I have run back in. I Jesus. pull rope out of my invisible fucking self, I guess. He, just behind Jesus, him. come to the window. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that rope come from? What is happening right now? Well, you guys don't carry ropes on you? Claire reaches out to <laughs> <laughs> I give him the rope. Oh, no, <laughs> ties I don't around the around Skagzag binding his arms and legs. <laughs> Chisel, <laughs> catch <laughs> and. Clark's gonna throw Skagzag out the window. <laughs> Skagzag, uh, without much no care one's there for to his catch health. You. No one is. Jesus is still debating taxes and why he thinks there should be no taxes. Skagzag, uh, you fall two oh stories, uh, crashing right. onto the ground. Uh, He's gonna wake up. Taking two points of damage, you immediately <laughs> wake up. All the way back upstairs. <laughs> ah. Rinse and repeat. Oh, ah. Keep Skagzag down there, Jesus. All right. The garden Jizzle is yelling at this man about how he should rise up and there should be no taxes. No, I mean, I live a pretty good life right there. I really don't think about that. I pay my taxes. I could afford it pretty well. I work over at the farms going ahead and get the wheat and get turned into bread. I think the extra money you could use to improve your life. Hey, but like, that sounds like a lot of work. What do you want to do? Like, rise up against that and get executed? I don't know if that's something I want to do, man. I don't think that's something that I want. <laughs> Meanwhile, while that's going on, the guard's going to kneel over to Claire and just be like, what's going on here? What's going on here? Just please tell me. This does not seem right. Is, is this like, are you, is this a, are you just trying to, like, uh, uh, do you want money? Is that what you want? We don't want to serve him again. Oh, and you you are so terrified of the things you don't understand. The guard not. The guard kneels again. This guy was terrible, and you brought him back to life. We do not want to serve this man again. Listen, boys, if you want me to be honest, you want me to be real honest with you, bulletproof honesty? Y yes! <laughs> all right, all right. We made him better. 
What do you mean he made it? He looks weird, he, dude. I'm dancing he, in circles. He was he's dropping jet. money around me. And in a week, he's going to be the best senator you've ever had. He's a changed man. The fountain he's of gold. Cool. Persuasion check, please. <laughs> Oh 23 is coming in. There it is. <laughs> what? Another 23. Yeah, 23 at least. You rolled a roll two. Like Does more. he even need to roll? <laughs> you rolled a two at this point in time. And oh my god. Their head sinks down. All right, look. It... A week? In a week. He is going to be 10 times better and, and more tolerable and 10 times less of a jackass. All right, than he ever was. He's gonna point at me? he's gonna point at you, and you're gonna be there for the entire week. And I'm gonna be there for the week, making sure that everyone is no one no one's gonna be any the wiser as he gets himself back to normal. All right, it's gonna be a rough week, but once you get through it, he's gonna be ten times better. And and he looks over, and looks back to Clarence. What if he's not okay within the week? Then we take him out. All right. I rest my you chin on my, his shoulder. You have my my lie. word that if he ain't better, <laughs> he's resting his chin on the guard's shoulders. The guard shrugs his head off. If he ain't better by then, I will personally help you dispose of him. All right. All right. I think we can. I think we can work with that. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and work with that. They're both looking at each other. All I right. Think, you I think two. We can do that. Yeah. You two need to get us a carriage with a cover. All right. He needs time to rest. We don't want people staring at us on the road. Be better that way. Ask oh, for tinted windows, I say in telepathy. We got tinted windows. Are those a thing? What? <laughs> stained glass, stained glass. What? <laughs> oh, you want like a fancy carriage with window? Uh, yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, Look, we well... got the money. If you guys don't have the money, we can, we can, we can figure something out. All right. Just find the contact for it. How, how much, uh, how much money you got? How much money you think it, we need? Like, I don't know, 200, 500 gold? I mean, that sounds like a really fancy carriage. We'll do the 200 one, all right? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Just, uh... Yeah, we'll... we'll... Uh, yeah, we'll do it. Okay, let's... Uh... You're gonna run with the money. <laughs> 200 gold's a lot of money. Well, oh. I'm not handing them the gold. If they yeah. find me the contact, I'll get the fucking okay. carriage. I'm not no fucking handing these guys the gold. They're they're willing to bug they out. They just <laughs> waited for you to leave the room and they we're about to like fucking they, execute What me. they believe is divine fucking intervention. Yeah. They're ready to cut it down, dude. These yeah, are opportunists. Down. These are opportunists, <laughs> but we can take advantage of opportunists. Yeah. We'll we are need them to sell us. Yeah. Oh. We, we need carriage, them. Yeah, if they're not here, no one can sell us with us. All right. So with the guards departing, looking for a contact of a very fancy carriage to go ahead and keep under the guys, uh, to keep this disguise of the senator and this elaborate plan that you've got going on for this section of Brisbane, uh, you begin to look at uh, <laughs> model. Short senator model as he stares there. Cheesel continues to try and influence the man who babbles off his ear about taxes, not really wanting to do much, just drink beer and have a have a good time. Uh, and uh, Skagzag awakens, whelp on his head uh, after being put to sleep uh, at the base of there. Uh, why am I here? Madness ensues within this human village, but in this campaign, it's just another day for the goblins. And so ends today's session of Goblins of Io. I think this might be the new most cursed session we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> this, one, this one took a mighty turn. Yeah. I mean, the second they left the room, I'm on all fours picking up all my gold like a fiend. <laughs> Marlo, you did good out there. <sighs> well, I have a concussion. No, you don't have a concussion. You don't you have, have something worse than that. You have a broken femur? <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Dude, I might I don't know. Someone else is gonna have to remember to get Skags like, I'm not going out there to get him after what he just fucking did. <laughs> uh you guys had fun today. Good sesh, good sesh. Yeah. Good sesh. Good. Listen, I heard charge the room. I'm gonna charge the room and attack. No, you did great. Hey, you, you did, did yeah. wonderful. Yeah, yeah, it's don't... just look, I knocked you out because I knew for a fact there was no way I was gonna get you to stop attacking and you were gonna attack that guy until you were dead. <laughs> That's true. Was... I was gonna catapult him. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna murder him. <laughs> I mean, they were gonna murder me, to be fair. Yeah. I didn't expect them to try that shit. Well, that's what well, I did. <laughs> that's why I start climbing the window. Yeah. All right, we got some fan art to show. Wowie wow. Lots of fan art wow, today. Wow, wow, Thank wow, you wow, so wow, much wow, for wow. the fan art. Uh, 
I've got a Calvin Klein ad. Can you hold on? <laughs> <laughs> what are they advertising? Uh, Defy Klein. by Calvin Klein. Oh. All the oh. aftershaves are Ooh. available. <laughs> Ooh. Aftershave. <laughs> yeah. It's oh. necessary. Imagine oh. shaving. I mean, dude. I guess if you shave. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, no, hold up. I, I switched. Yeah, frick. Okay, there we go. You freaking well, frick. You freaking frick, dude. Uh, a picture of what may be things to come in the future. King Y'all don't, Diesel. Oh don't want to see. You have no clue how close I was to killing There's everyone in this town. There's nothing underneath that. <laughs> My lord. I'm not. Uh, every move I make is now to take over Brisbane. I'm letting you know. I from now on, it's I, happening. I understand. Thank you for letting me know. I All shall right. provide the narrative for it. Prender's not here today, so you guys get to control Skagzag today. Careful with the wild magic button. This is a. This was when uh, uh, Krendor was gone for like. I think because yeah, I think you're. Good. You're picking someone at the airport, I believe. Oh, so yeah. there you go. Someone stole my Skag's egg controller. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! Look Maria. at these controls! Yeah, Small, good. huge catapult, <laughs> fog, I hate humans, <laughs> wild magic. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is hilarious. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Yo, check out this badass art of Pikel. Oh my god, that's so good. Pikel oh heard god. you talking trash about pickles. Is going to eat or is going to cry? That pickle is photo fucking real. What, I, what I love is the skagzag that someone drew in the corner, which is with the with the blue and everything. <laughs> that does look oh like god. uh yeah. Like Gag Zag? Like your drawing, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah that, that, that style is amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's, uh, that was from... So good. That was from All Smiles. Thank you, All Smiles. Let me Thank go you, All Smiles. Get you that yeah. fan art roll now. Uh, some guy... who made an animated one of Clark's new hat. Hey, Goblin, why are you wearing a mushroom on your head? <laughs> Tell them that it's a fashion statement. <laughs> it's it's a fashion it statement. Like it's mouth. His eyes. <laughs> oh my god. That mouth oh. is terrifying. The mushroom <laughs> speaks and, and yeah. kind of, like thank just follows. You, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, some guy. Uh, Mino is coming back again with a, a, a nice skag zag. Decided to draw skag zag. Uh, really buff this Jojo time, Jojo posing? Though. Yeah, he looks like he's Jojo walking. <laughs> yeah, that's anime villain Skagzag. Amazing. It must be the villain because he has pants <laughs> one on. One leg is thick yeah. and one is thin. That's good. Uh, go, ghost Boots coming in with a clerk drawing over there. Nice. That's, that's, <laughs> that's pretty accurate. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> Body proportions. <laughs> that's what I see when I see Clarn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> When you Yo. open the, the phone on the camera on your phone and it's facing to uh, jo 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 oh my God. Josie, oh. Josie, I didn't know I needed a muscle, muscle, uh, mushroom boy, but here we are. <laughs> That's God. amazing. That God is damn. amazing. Uh, Mino coming in with another picture of, uh, Pikel over here. Very nice. Cute. Best plate and all. <laughs> Battle and armor ready. And Paladin. Then, and then, uh, Josie came in with a rough sketch of, uh, Mikel, very nice. Oh, that's super cute. Oh. <laughs> very nice. Uh, Ghost Boots, thank you so much. Link is fan arts. Josie, thank you for that as well. And uh, that is our fan art for the day. So thank Yay. you guys so much for playing. Uh, we will not be here next Wednesday, but we will be back the following Wednesday. Sound good with everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, you guys have a good I've day. i needing a break. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. Uh, did you guys have a good session today? Hope you had a really good one. Uh, yeah, we're going to be taking a break next week. Um, there is a organized uh, uh, Twitch. What is it? Twitch. I'm trying to figure out what the word is. Uh, a day off Twitch is what's happening next Wednesday. Uh, um, and I'm going to go and take the day off uh, to support that. Uh, it's also my birthday, so I figure, you know what? I think um, I think it, I think I'll take a day off my my uh, my birthday and uh, a day, day off for my birthday. And we'll also take it next week as the first is that a lot of hate raids going on uh, over on uh, Twitch, which has been really unfortunate. So 
Um, a lot of people are looking, are gathering together to to everyone just take the day off. So I figured it's my birthday. Might as well take a, might as well take a day off. Something like an organized boycott. It is, yeah, it's a boycott. Uh, uh, the hate raids that are going on and not really much going on. That's so. Uh, go ahead and look it up, of course, at your own uh, at your own time. Um, I won't go too far into it, but uh, you'll 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 find it on the internet. Just look, at, yeah, Twitch hate raids. You'll find it. You'll figure it out at that point. So, uh, we are planning on doing a subathon for my birthday. So we're not obviously not gonna do it next Wednesday, which is my birthday. But we'll either do it the following weekend or another day or sometime in September that we'll 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 do that, or we'll do it a following week. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So, um. Yeah, just that are doing that and but uh thank you to all the goblins thank you to you guys watching really do uh really do appreciate that appreciate everyone hanging out having a good time uh let me uh oh yeah that's right we got a we got our team. currently updating the intro screen so it's going to include all the campaigns but right now we've got the uh the patreon as part of the screens though uh consider supporting our patreon guys it's what supports me and allows me to do dnd for a living Big shout out to White Not Gemology, Lopar Panda, Twitching Pickle, Baker Staunch, Chaos King, 1236, Starter Pack, Eagle Wolf, Germs B, Wired Traveler, and Con Air on DVD uh, for big sponsorships. Uh, but yeah, consider supporting Patreon. Uh, includes things like MP3s, includes maps, as well as game master notes of encounters that happen within the game, uh, amongst other things. Uh, for example, the cantrip system, uh, cantrip creation system you guys saw last week, is currently on our Patreon. The whole system's there consider supporting the patreon at the game master tier or any of the tiers right there uh like i said it helps me out a ton and allows me to do DD for a living thank you for everyone and all of our wonderful patreon members there uh donate uh you can donate as little as you want and it would be just as helpful so consider that today thank you very much uh, if this is your first time watching an IO campaign, welcome. Uh, we've got a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash world of IO. You can catch up on the ga uh, Goblins of IO campaign, uh, or actually you can catch up on all of the campaigns that have been done over this past uh, year and some change. I think we did that in June, July, or, or something like that. I'm trying to remember exactly how we do an IO for, but it's been a while. It's been a while, so uh, consider supporting that. Uh, join our IO Discord. Uh, if you saw something that you was a broken rule, you can post in our rules lawyers. If you're interested in joining us, our, uh, joining our fan art uh, corner, we've got a fan art channel. We've got a couple of people trying to form D&D games uh, with the D&D LFG channel. If you're looking to play a game or DM a game, uh, this is a great place to, to join and yeah, be a part of the community. It's uh, growing every day. Love to see you there. Uh, follow me on Twitter.com to spread ultimates for general musings. We got some cool updates coming here soon, chat. Uh, can a campaign like the Goblins uh, turn into a village management campaign? Who knows? Honestly, it's all depending on... Uh, uh, IO is a is essentially an open sandbox campaign with a lot of inspirations of JRPGs and MMORPGs, but it's meant to be an open sandbox D&D uh, &D experience. Uh, so there are storylines that are happening in the world at the time. Obviously, it's up to the players whether they decide to follow it or not. I'll keep spinning. Um, but if players, for example, as you saw right now is a perfect example, say, hey, what if we go ahead and try and take over this village for ourselves and, and, and pose to be a senator? Well, that seems to be the story. I originally thought they were going to be returning uh, back to the Ishtar continent, uh, uh, the Ishtar Highlands, but there seems to be, not it seems to be, but it looks like they're detouring, and that's fine. Um, that's the beauty of D&D, &D, in my personal opinion. Uh, I don't want to lead people along on a uh, on a, on a pre-written adventure. Um, the adventures, of course, are always there uh, for people if they do decide to follow it, but if players and uh, characters wish to write their own stories... IO is, uh, the beauty, beautiful thing about IO is people are able to do it. Uh, Mainframe of Atlas is also a really great example of how players kind of like took control of the narrative to write the story that they want to write. Um, I think Astral Academy, um, all of those games uh, wouldn't be where, uh, any game honestly wouldn't be where it is right now if it weren't for the uh, actions, the players and the directions that they decide to go. And that's the beauty of IO. Um, not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, some people do prefer the more pre-written narratives. And that's why I do have those available for players that do want a storyline that they can, you know, follow along and have a story be told. That's always an option, then a thing that's going to be available. Um, but some campaigns like to be a little more freeform, and I like to provide that for the players that are there. It's also one of the things that I think that makes IO great and IO wonderful. So, with that, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Uh, we got some, like I said, I got some good things coming up. Uh, I'm, I'm doing some improvements for the, the variety streaming that we're going to be doing here soon that are non D and D, but I think I might be sticking with D and D for a little bit. I've got a couple of things in the works for our variety stream section, specifically a new, uh, VTuber model that is currently being worked on. That I think I'd be happy to show off, uh, during the subathon if you reach certain sub goals. Um, as well as some new plans that are coming for the non D and D streams that I'm really excited about to really just bring these streams to life and make them individualized. I think when it comes to the variety streams itself, and this is more my personal musings, it's, it's fun. And I do enjoy doing it with you guys, but I feel like we're not bringing anything to the, the table new wise, except me playing games and hanging out with chat, which of course is a lot of fun. Um, but I feel like we can do something more, something entertaining, something enriching that that makes it, not makes it, but allows you to see why, you know, this channel would be better than just any other random streamers out there. So, uh, I'm looking forward to that. And, uh, I, I breathe some life into the variety streams. I think the D and D, uh, games, of course, is awesome. Being known for D and D is wonderful. That makes me incredibly happy, but I really would like to also, um, you know, thrive when it comes to uh, the variety streams and also make that an entertaining experience for all the viewers. And because right now it's a chill time, which I don't mind chill. I love chilling with you guys. It's so fun. But I also want to create something entertaining with the variety streams and not just settle in, not just settle down into it's a chill time with chat, which again is fun. But I, I, I think we can do something more, something, something a lot more. So. I think the VTuber models are going to help add an element to that. Obviously, I don't want to lean everything on the VTuber model for that. Um, I've got other things in the works that I think are going to be fun. Uh, but yeah, that's coming up. And kind of little 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 knowledge for you guys of what may potentially be happening. So, uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll talk more. We'll, we'll 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 chat more. We'll we'll talk future plans. We'll do, we'll do all that fun stuff. Next campaign is tomorrow. Is going to be. Um, I was going to say Hunters of Aya, which technically is true. Spire of Euclid, they are continuing their boss fight against a fire salamander. Uh, they think they're about a little over halfway through the fight itself. Um, will the guards get names? Yes, the guards already have names. It's just unfortunately, I thought I had them written in a notes, but apparently I had them in a notepad. Uh, so I have, to, I have to look back at there. So yes, sure, whatever. Yes, the guards will get names. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me go ahead and thank all of our subscribers. You know, I really want to just take a moment and thank everyone who has considered supporting the stream uh, through subscriptions. Um, I really do appreciate it. Like I said, I'm very fortunate to be able to do this every day and your subscription help that. If you have a Twitch Prime that you are currently not using and would like to drop it here because you've been enjoying yourself, please consider it. We've got a lot of great uh, raccoon themed emotes, more are coming. Uh, more are on the way. Uh, we work very hard on these emotes, so yeah. And uh, as always, you can also consider dropping a subscription if you so wish. It would be uh, it would mean a lot to me. Uh, Plastic pencil, thank you so much for the prime sub. Dio Maximilian, thank you so much for your one sub. Uh, Shadow King Ace, thank you for the tier one sub for three months. Uh, Muja Ween, uh, thank you so much uh, for the prime sub. Uh, Rick Desk Twenty Six, thank you for the tier one sub for five months. Doc Hop, thank you for the tier one sub for two months. Len, thank you for the tier one sub for six months. VA, no magician, thank you for the tier one sub for 11 months. Donnie Jabroni, thank you for the tier one sub for three months. Uh, Jay Remiel, thank you for the prime sub. Uh, Nostrobus, thank you for the prime uh, sub. Uh, Fush and Pal, thank you for the tier one sub for six months. And Sir Gwen Lotson, really do appreciate that support, that love and support. Thank you for subscribing. Like I said, consider subscribing in the future. It helps me out and you get some pretty cool emotes that we work pretty hard on. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching again. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. EST with uh, Spire of Euclid. Have yourselves a lovely day. Um, yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>